All right, chat. Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. How the hell are we doing? Coney, hello. Mm-hmm. All right, well, outside of the, uh, outside of that, how are you two doing this morning? Yep. Fine. Good. Yep. Mm. I'm gonna go put my feet up for a bit because I'm a wee bit tired. That's fair. It's good to see you again, Briggs. Hey, you too. Probably be... I might be around later. I don't know. I've not decided yet. I'll just, uh, just need a break. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, a she, strong that's... coffee and a break. Oh, that's fair. Everyone needs a break from time to time. That's really true. Okay. I'll see you folks later. Right up. Have a good rest. You're grumbling for. Mm. Seems they got lady. Oh, I was. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the most infuriating people to question in my what? entire existence. Yeah. Were you there for it? Uh. Yeah, I just happened to walk into the Blackwater Sheriff's Office and um, Dalloway and Clem were there and they are like, right, now's your chance. Question, I was like, oh yeah, right, eh? right. It was rough, mate. We, we, we tried to give her every opportunity to just give us something. She just talked in circles and then just stopped talking. As I just the telegram. How am I today? I'm good. Robin! Hello! I heckin' love your face. The gasp, you have a shiny diamond. I wonder why. I can love your face. No, yo! Yeah, chat, so we saw this morning about, um... About the attempted killer, and Hutch can't sit back anymore. Shipman might have left him, but he, he... He can't sit by and just let this go idly. So he's gonna telegram Clem, and we're gonna stick our nose in it. Yeah, Hutch has been through it, man. By the way, Robin, I need to edit that thing that we did just to make it appropriate for that day. Um, and then I'll... Yeah, it's going to be a thing. Howdy. Yeah, I was just going to change it to where it showed, like, the actual day that you and I talked about it. Let's see what Clem says to that chat. That'll be a good one.
So we'll see if we can get a uh, Sissica visit with Lady Mommy. I need to telegram Forrester and have him give Hutch his ring back. Because that's going to be a big thing, too. Watching like forever, just have school and be busy our time. Dude, I get it, Coney. I get it, man. I, I'm right there with you. I've really been struggling too. Um, the last three weeks have been short of anguish, so I haven't even been streaming as much. To be fair, there's just been a lot going on, a lot of concerns, a lot of a lot of heartaches and hurts, and a lot of questions for things on an IRL level. So I get it, man. Glad to have you here when you're here, but don't feel like you have to be here every time. Make sure you're taken care of. I'm asking Clementine yeah. to arrange a Siska visitation for me and Lady Mommy. Ah, uh, she got out yesterday. No, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I just, I just, I just checked. Uh, yeah, local guards, uh, three, about 4 p.m., 17th. There was no satisfaction with that arrest whatsoever. Not that's why we do it, but you know what I mean? There was just... That was piss. Absolute rubbish. It'd probably be different if I could talk to her. Maybe. Maybe. I wish we would just talk around in circles for half an hour. You were asking the wrong question the wrong way. I mean, she's been charged and served time for it, mate. I don't... Oh, no. it, I don't it, intend she... on charging her, but I, I need answers no. to why. I know, but it could be seen as harassment, just the way her, she operates. I know. Just, just, yeah, just be careful. That's why I would approach it with, I would like to have a conversation to get answers outside of the charges on a personal level. Mm-hmm. Sure. Shipman may be my ex. She might have done things that have really hurt me. But I still need answers for why. Yeah, well, we would all we would all really like that. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like I said, we we got we got nothing. She was there. She wasn't there. She was shooting birds. She wasn't shooting birds. She was out all day. She was in all day. She was out with friends. She was by herself. It was. She just constantly just talked in circles. She gave us nothing. Absolutely nothing. Maybe it's different if you appeal a different way, only a way that I could. Mm. Oh yeah, no, I'm not saying don't try. I'm just saying that's just that's that was what we were up against. No, no. Mm -hmm. It's just different when the ex-husband is able to make the appeal, not out of interest of a charge or justice, sure. but just knowing. Mm -hmm. It Absolutely. changes the landscape of everything. Definitely does. And it's not like we can come back and charge her for murder since she's already been charged with accessory. I feel, I feel like double dipping. Yeah, she's been, she's been charged with it. So that's yeah, that's so, that. I mean, I think she was accessory at most. There's no way we can go back and revert the charge to attempted. So, at this point, if it is attempted, she gets away with that scot free with accessory. Mm hmm. Simple. Yep. Usually when. I found that when people realize that 
it's not going to impact them worse than what it already has. They're a little more free with information. Mm. Maybe I'm obsessing, maybe I'm not, I don't know. Been watching no, that one I, th I, th I think you are exactly where you need to be, mate. You're entitled to answers. No question there. Yeah. Alright, would you like to come on a search and rescue in East Cumberland? Yeah, sure, why not? There's a lot of wolves up that way. Mm-hmm. feel like the, uh... Great and intelligent Keith Oath could use a bodyguard. <laughs> You're daft. Although, in saying that, I am now one certification away from getting my uh, detective, so. I still have yet to get any certification. Oh, jump, jump. Or do I really care to? No, that's it. If, if you're not interested, then that's completely fine. Mate. The only one I feel like I'd have any interested in is Maple's ACT. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that interests me because that's the only one I'd probably be good at. Sure. I mean, you don't know until you try it, well, so there's that. And one of the rest of them, I was talking with someone the other day. Most of them are things we already know how to do and do well. There's no point in getting mm -hmm. a certification of stuff I know how to do, like collect evidence. I know what the fuck I'm looking for. Hell, I went back sure. with Maple after a shootout with the Del Lobos and we combed through 35 different fucking fingerprints to confirm all six that were present for that gunfight. Mm -hmm. That was a lot to case through, too. We combed every sure. bullet, fragment, shell casing all over Chala Springs. You know... It might work in your favor if you have a couple. How do you figure? Well, if you want to get senior one day, could put a nod in your favor. You know, I've given up my desire to go for senior Keith. Sure. If it happens, it happens. But I'm going sure. to just be the best me here and now. I'm not going to pursue certifications, paperwork, if it just doesn't interest me or if it's. if I see no value in it, you know? Fair enough. It's not to say they don't for other people, but. No, no. It's completely fine, though. But for right here and for right now, I'm just going to be me. If there does come a day that I make senior, then there's a day I make senior. If I don't lose any sleep over it any longer. Here, here. I say that because a lot of people have tried to put me there and several times it just never comes to be, so it's probably not meant to be. Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll go right, yeah. Go past, well, um, Emerald. Somebody's hurting and bleeding now. Why are we trotting? Oh, no idea. I'm following you. Go, uh, go up. Because you know, know how much they frighten you, Doc. What's up, buddy? Oh, my God. How you doing, man? It's only that office and for a specific the reason. That's the one. Here it is. Well, were you yeah. looking for this crossroad? Left. Hope you're doing well, man. I'm so happy to see Jones coming around again. I'm not gonna lie, when you showed up, I was streaming and chat's like, wait, Jones is back? What the fuck? They all went a little bit feral over you, my guy. I was looking at the map, uh, oh, probably a couple of weeks ago now, the whole ABC thing. I was looking for, like, 
X's, you know, X marks the spot or whatever. Mm -hmm. Guess how many crossroads there are actually are in the entire crossing. You actually took the time to count? It did not take me long. Okay, how many? I think three. Huh? A lot of the crossroads are three roads meeting on four. Go left. Go left. Yeah, no, Hutch has been you, fucking look, look through it. You got a chance, look at that. There's a lot of three roads meeting, but not four. Not, not like actual crossroads. Mm. Let's go cut right, let's go. You can tell, yeah. He's been fucking through it, man. There's a, there's a lot of Y's, but not a lot of X's. Mmm. Mmm. It's an interesting way to look at it. Jones not alright again. Yeah, no, it's fair. That's why he's got Wiley. That's why he's got Keith. He's got MJ. And that was stupid shit that I know. You're welcome. Uh, you, uh, fun little facts about the crossing that'll show up in. You know, I feel like we should get people together at a parlor house one night and just uh, have a question and answer of random things we know about the crossing or, you know, big events. Really? Oh, yeah, like, getting like. Teams of two or something, group up. The parlor trip, you know? Yeah, we'll get everyone together in the parlor house one night, let the drinks start flowing, and, you know, <laughs> divide them up into teams of two or three. One person just sits there, they've got a bunch of questions and answers, various things like that. See who knows what about this crossing. Next week's coming up on Thanksgiving here in the crossing. What are you doing for it? I have no idea what that is. It's a day that a lot of folks tend to go with their families. They eat big meals. They give thanks for what they've had through the year. I don't have a family to go back to, so I'm going to be spending my time on duty around here, and I'm trying to see who's going to be on duty that day. Yep. That, that would probably be me. Yeah, I'll be right there with you. Okay, that sounds good. Your daughter you can go to? It, he means out of state. Punch would definitely go up to a PD after he's off duty. Like, that's, that's a given. Also, Robin in my head cannon, he's gone up there a few times to say hi, but I'll talk with you about that so on the back end. East Cumberland, so we go past, um, oh, I always forget the name He'd of that. He'd still part. go up there. Carmody Dell, that's one. I think we go right up here. That's just Hutch. Yep. Like, he still goes to places him and Shipman went to. He'd still go to a PD. What are you trying to do? Knock me off my damn horse? Yes. <laughs> I've had enough horse incidents this week, all right? Oh, okay. Still Why, had enough happened? with uh, still had enough from that that Addy incident last week. <laughs> oh, sorry to that actually. Uh, how's she doing? Yeah, yeah, really well. I, um, yeah, good. Took Glad up to the that. bottle tree a couple of days ago to teach her. Not, I didn't teach her shooting, but I just you know, wanted <laughs> to shoot the tree trunk. And try yeah. and shoot it again and again. <laughs> Mash wants to be a cadet, so. Wow, I mean, it's a good thing to start instilling on her early. I remember her telling me she wanted to be a cadet. Yeah, Hutch would 100% still go to a PD, even though he knows uh, that Dawn is out of state. Right, East Cumberland. Ooh. There's Temple Wolves right around here. Mm, let's slow it down just a bit. Back when I lived at the ranch back there, we'd usually see him come down from here on the right. They'd never make it as far as the ranch, but they would hang out around this area and harass the locals. Bruh, bruh. Jesus. Yeah, well, it's Timberwolves for you. Don't go anywhere. Mm, yep. Killed a pack on my way from Strawberry earlier. Yeah? Yeah, they got to me right about rigs. Ah, right. 
Search and rescue. Hello. Saints Carlson Sheriff's Department. Search and rescue. Anybody out here hurt? I don't see any horses or packs of wolves that would indicate. Mm, no, not yet. The lost and found tip wasn't uh, near water, was it? No. Okay. God, this is such a vibe for Hutch with these shadows. God, I love this game. Several wolf tins up here could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Wolf. Oh, come on. It's down. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Search and rescue. Hello. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Search and rescue. Anybody out here hurt? Yell out to me if you are. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Search and rescue. Anybody out here? Come here, bagel. Finish that off. Ah. Hello. I oh, hear someone. Hello. 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 Keep talking. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. Where you at? There we go. Shishi, thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. I was very worried for a moment. <laughs> you and me both. My goodness. Oh, well, good thing we found you, friend. Take a wild guess, those wolves are to blame. They are. I was literally just riding through, and two packs uh, attacked me, but I'm kind of lucky that my horse knocked them out of the way, but I fell onto the rock here. Mm, okay. Man, you got a bit of a cut on the head. I'm just going to see if it's a deep one or something a little more manageable. We can get you into town. shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for, for coming out here. Alright, I'm just gonna clean out with a little bit of water here. We'll do the good stuff when we get back to town. Thank you. Yeah, that way we can keep any debris and bad stuff out of there. Hopefully that will save you from a lot of nasty stuff down the road. I appreciate that. What, mm -hmm. what is your name, sir? I am Deputy Hutchinson. Uh, this here behind me is Deputy Oath. Hello, Deputy Nick. Hutchinson and Deputy Oath. Mm -hmm. What's your name? My name is Ty. Thank you both uh, for, for helping. Mm, of course. Mm, of course. Okay. Everything looks good. Come on, Mr. Ty, we'll get you up. Shit, shit. Thank you. Come here, Bagel. Your horse is named Bagel. Mm -hmm. It's a nice name. He's an homage to an old family dog of mine. Uh, it was a beagle me and my parents had back in Georgia. Uh, unfortunately, he got away, chased after something, never came back. Damn sorry good to dog. hear that. That's all right. 
I hope that your horse is as uh, good as your talk. <laughs> this horse here is second generation, actually. Uh, my first service horse, but he's a damn good one. It is good to hear. All right, let's get this man to Valentine. Mm -hmm. How long have you been uh, a part of the law office? Almost a year and two weeks. Oh, wow. It still feels like yesterday getting the badge, to be honest with you. Lots happened, though. I am sure. What about you? How long have you been around the crossing? The crossing only a couple of days. Uh, welcome to the crossing. Thank you. I am noticing uh, where the dangerous parts of the roads are. <laughs> Any road at night can definitely have its uh, fair share of dangers just due to all the wolves that like to den up, especially here in Cumberland. That's true. Do is make sure you got a good piece of iron at your hip and an even better piece of iron on your back. I uh, I actually do some hunting with a bow, but sometimes today I was not even Bowling doing left. such a thing, yeah. and I just got a nasty surprise. <laughs> yeah, bow hunting is good, but when you're dealing with wolves, you need a you need a piece of iron uh, somewhere around you. Otherwise, the wolves are going to get the best of you, and it's going to end up not being a good day. That is, that is true. Slappy, mop it! I will count myself lucky this time. Mm. We'll get you to the doctors. We'll check and see if there's any uh, state medics around to help take care of you. And if not, we'll get a local doctor to patch you up. Make sure you're good to go. Shishi, it is no problem. Send in some telegrams. Thank you. Easy, buddy. Easy. Check these, make sure they're not bleeding through. And I'm also going to help you get a little comfortable in the chair for when the doctor gets here. I appreciate that. You're very, uh, I'm very lucky that you both were on duty. <laughs> you and I down. appreciate the help for sure. <laughs> yeah, of course, that's exactly why we're here. We're here to protect the people, and sometimes that means we gotta come get you from the wilderness. And that is, uh, well, we like our rangers to do that. When they're not around, we fill in for them. It is good to work apart as a team. Hmm. Absolutely. It's probably one of the best parts of being part of our law office. Is uh. The teamwork that we get to work with between us the rangers the medics hell even transit ah that is good i met one of your deputies i think yesterday uh, uh he was called stone i think mm, we got a couple of stones in the department right now ah okay also the paperwork hutched, hutched but he seemed a relatively nice man yeah. yeah, if it was Senior Deputy Stone, he's one of the best. I think it was him. Mm. Very distinctive voice. Yeah. Gravelly voice. Uh, British, almost? Yes, I would say so. Yeah, that was Senior Deputy Stone. Very good oh, fellow. Okay. He he good morning, was, uh, madam. Very polite. Had some interesting concepts. Uh, Swat, hello, how we doing? 
All right, here, let me help you up. I'll help you over to the chair, and that way you can wait on the doctor. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Mm, yeah. Head injuries can be a little nasty, so just lean on me if you feel any wooziness, okay? Thank you. I'll sit here. Yeah. Good, you. I'm good. She, she. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Is there uh, anything I can get you in the time being? No, I'm I'm completely fine. Thank you. You you have done more more than enough. <laughs> That's no worries. All right, I'm gonna step next door and I'm gonna check to see if we have any doctors around or if I need to go uh, fetch the local doctor out of the saloon. Of course, do, do not worry too much. I think what you have done, to be honest with you, is probably going to be fine. I can always get it checked up later if it if it hurts uh, still. Mm, yeah. Thing about it is, though, head injuries can very be uh, very much be deceptive. Uh, I would know from firsthand experience. So, uh, okay. just to be safe, rather than sorry, I'm just gonna double check and have him look you over. Uh, if there's not a state doctor around now, I definitely would have a uh, follow up with him just to make sure it all looks good. Of course, I will. I will trust your word. You are more experienced than I am. So. Yeah. All right. I'll be back in just a minute. No problem. Yeah, I'm doing good, SWAT. I'm doing good. Ready to open up a can. All right. We got any doctors around? No. No. We right. do, however, have some dumped moonshine in Blackwater. <laughs> we can go there next. Pity anyone that pisses me off today. Madam, I got a whole thing, or I got a half a bottle of uh, peanut butter whiskey eggnog for you. Come on. All right, time to get old Vincent from the saloon. No problem. Sounds amazing. It's actually really good, Doc. It's from Screwball. Let's see if you've been on that. All right, Doc. Ah, eh, come on. Yep, no, little head cut. Fell off horse. Yep. Yeah. If you know, if you've ever had screwball peanut butter whiskey, Doc, um, the whiskey eggnog is also really good. I had too much sugar to drink neat. I was able to drink it neat um, pretty well. Right, Mr. Ty. I got local Dr. Yes, Vincent here with you from the saloon, so he's just going to take a look over you and make sure your head's all good. And of I course. definitely would have a, a state doctor follow up afterwards. I will do that. No problem at all. Mm. All right. Well, uh, if there's anything you need, just telegram the, the law, okay? I will. I will speak to Vincent now, and I will uh, let you know if I need anything else. All right. You take care. Thank you, sir. Take care. Yeah, well, yes, they have a pre-mixed eggnog with it in there. Like smoky, peaty stuff. Too sweet. I like it. That's, you know what? That's fair. Um, I can buy that at Walmart. Yeah, I got mine at the ABC store here. You say there was a uh, alcohol dumped out in Blackwater. Mm-hmm. At the construction site. Wanna go take a look? Go do. Let's mark ourselves on it. Already did it. Look at you. Yeah, it was really good. The eggnog one's also really good. Um, if you refrigerate it, it's super thick. Seemed like a good fella. Mm. Unfortunately, yeah. he had to meet wolves second day in the crossing. Yes, yeah, not ideal. Yeah, it could be worse. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think it makes it last longer. That's fair. But that's just if you refrigerate it. I drink it warm right off the shelf, and it was also it's really tasty. It's lower alcohol content too.
has me craving it. We can see they have your attack first 30 minutes, but wolves rip. Also, did I see that there's someone tried to break into two different banks this morning? I did see that very briefly. I didn't, um, didn't follow. Let's cut right. Let's go down in the river basin. Oh, cool. wait, there's a cliff there. Yeah, it's funny. I did a patrol from Strawberry to St. Denis this morning solo off stream. Ran into wolves at rigs, dropped all three. It was really nice. Hutch literally just stood there, blap, blap, blap. Odds are that we get help from that person. And I think you know who I'm referring to. Hmm. Nothing more. Uh, nothing more satisfying. Yeah, right, Moppet. Well, I don't. I don't know the person at all. Oh. Uh, right now, they're a name on a bit of paper, so I've got nothing to go on. When did you leave the? Uh did you leave that item in the box? Two Ooh. months. I'll find you later today and scrape you up off the gravel road there, Moppet. Maybe 8 a.m. today. Okay. Hmm. I'm curious that, uh, I'm curious if we have a, might have gotten a response by now or not. Check Blackwater. Give her some time. Give them some time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll check. Yeah, mop it straight. Jinxed it. I'll be picking up Pugsley later, right off the ground. My all got down by wolves for a section. <laughs> I got sloppy. That's <laughs> right. That happened to um, to my alt Marcus last year in September gotten downed by wolves and I ended up having to do the uh, respawn because there was just no rangers at the time um, that's kind of where like everything really died for him story wise nothing's been able to really pick up or move on since then which really sucks for him you know like he's actually a decent concept character there's a lot of hooks I could use for him but just nothing ever kicks off and uh, so I had an amnesia arc for a little while that really panned out into nothing so I just said fuck it brought his memory back Poor guy just does not have luck with wolves, though, so he absolutely hates them. <laughs> lost with other characters? Yeah. Well, it's not even lost with other characters. Marcus just kept having everything, like, start to putter up a little bit. And then for one reason or another... Howdy, sir. Like, just straight up would just disappear. You know, oh, you know what I, I, I thought the other day, Moppet, would have been a really cool arc for Oblithe, which I know isn't possible right now, 
is if you'd have taken him down a route of a medic as like an atonement kind of deal. For not just, you know, spending time in jail, but like looking to actually atone for the little bit that he did with uh, with Dicenzo's. That would have been a really cool arc for him to see, in my opinion. Hmm. Huh. Briggs and I heard shots fired from the construction site. Oh, good couple of hours, three hours ago now. related at a stretch. I don't know. It's also considered Bugsy too. That's fair. Hmm. Hmm. Is it behind the construction site? So maybe... What's considered behind the construction site though? Behind the courthouse? Behind know. this little shack? Interesting to see them finish this one of these days. Hmm. Good. Is that a wild McGregor early on? Mm -hmm. Behind mm -hmm. the construction site. Are we, are we looking for a, a package? Are we looking for a crate? Are we looking for puddles of crap with broken glass? Hang on, I think there's a cracker behind us. Howdy. Oh, uh, something yeah. going on? Yeah, well, there's an interesting tip that there was all kinds of broken bottles and a alcohol poured out back here. We're going to look into it. Oh, there was uh, okay. some shots apparently this way earlier, according to Keith, too. Oh, oh, mm. oh, uh, well, sure well it's an early morning. I'll just walk up. I'm just gonna do some paperwork. Uh, if you need me, I'll be on the porch. All right, enjoy. Oh. Mm. Don't forget the coffee; it helps. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> early morning, McGregor, dudes. Behind. I mean, hmm. what? What technically is behind the construction site? Yeah, I don't know. Depend and also it depends which way you're coming from as well. Mm. Which is the front, which is the back, I don't know. I wish more... St I, like, I, I, I would love to see this whole area finished out, chat. That would actually be really cool. back wacky what up buddy i've been back for a couple weeks now i just haven't been off and on hutch there's been a lot of irl things happening 
What's going on, man? How you been? Wonder if that was a case of uh, some local carpenter or workman just telling us he cleaned up the place. Maybe, yeah. You said you heard a gunshot from this way, right? Yeah, yeah. And saw one worker running away with a gun in his hand, but um, Briggs and I jeffed everywhere and didn't find anything. Ooh. Yeah. No telling then. Yeah, no idea. Don't be any day. Yeah, man. So. I spent rough. Oh, and then poor Hutch went through it too. What? <sighs> how far behind as well? Where where is behind and how far? <laughs> I think this is one of those uh, not worth putting too much time into at this point. No, nope. It's funny, Wacky. Hutch was actually asking about Pack uh, about Waggy the other day because he had been hearing things. Go just get the shit out of him. That's what I do. Ah, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, good things. He he's heard some interesting rumors fly around. definitely been some interesting ones. Up. What? I don't even want to write this up. There's no point in writing it up. Well, a telegram was sent in. We found nothing. The end. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> <coughs> well... <coughs> well, we found well, where behind well, is. Well. I think we know who's behind. <laughs> Look at the label on that bottle. Guess who I saw earlier? Eleanor Kane. Ding, ding, ding. Did you see that we got a telegram intercept from her? You know, I did see that. Hmm. Look at Leo leaving some good stuff. How the bloody hell is this behind the construction site? Huh? You know, I how? think that I, I think that How's... construction worker had a swig of this shit before he told us. I, th I think he got a little bit too close. Slow and thinking the follow up. Uh, yeah. Any prints on the bottom themselves? Oh yeah, yeah. There's, there's a prints on the bottle. There's a print on that crate where they leaned over and tipped out shit. So yeah. I have seventy nine dollars in my pocket, and I will bet you all seventy nine dollars that one of those prints comes back to Eleanor Kane. I mean, yeah, probably. That's why it smells. They spilled some over there. <laughs> Abhorrent, disgusting swill. Why can't they be like the rest of folks and actually do some legitimate brewing to make a good damn whiskey or bourbon? Yep. I'm going to hold oh, one. No. Oh, nah, no, that's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm committing now. I'm committed. I'm going to do it. I'm determined. You might need to open the door, though. Come on, give me. Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. Don't do that. I want to drop it. It's going to stick. Howdy. I'm going to have to shut the door. I'm still carrying it. It's a shit. Thank you. Ooh. 
Oof, okay. Other ones on the desk over there. Uh, brilliant. We're trying to rob banks. All right. Any relation to Casey yeah, Banks? Yes. Actually, caught a beer. My God. None at all. How's it going today, Bolo? Good. Going good. Yeah, good. Glad to hear that. Just waking up myself, so. How about y'all? Yeah, we're doing all right. Yeah, there was a tip earlier that there was uh, some bottles of alcohol in the construction site here in Blackwater. We just found a couple bottles of shine. Interesting. Okay. And I'd be willing to bet my bottom dollar that it's Eleanor Kane. It's a name I haven't heard in a while. They were cadets together. Well, I'm sorry for you. Long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Eleanor Kane used to be a deputy? If it's the one I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, before even my time. Yeah. So that's, what, greater than a year ago now, Bolo? Yeah, yeah, probably a year and four months ago. I remember when they left, too. Uh, very sudden. Hmm. Just a telegram from the state marshal that they were gone. Happened to a few folk. Yeah, that's disappointing to hear. Yeah, they don't they don't talk about why. They just sent in telegrams back then on folk that were removed from the department. set for today family those who have too much those who are greedy the only thing I can think of is that somebody or that they might be doing something with the St. Lee Bank That's what I'm thinking. One slappy tight. Uh, hmm. Kane has wanted for 800 days. Shit. Oh, that's an undersheriff report. I can't look at that. I'd be logging on soon. Hell yeah, dude. I'll see you around. Love your face, Moppet.
Yo, Malvin. What's up, buddy? How you been? Okay, just taking it easy. Hell yeah, dude. My oath. Mm, yes, that's me. It is a positive match. It's Eleanor Kane. Uh dear, oh dear. Yep. One print is her left ring finger, one is her right forefinger. What would you charge? Oh. Littering? I mean, she, she's known. She's a known shiner, so... I mean, she's been reported for dropping it off. Mm. Well, that might have been another tip I read. Hmm. That's Can't a good actually, question. There's not, there's not really, there's not a charge for just, I mean, yeah, disposing of a disposing of contraband, but is there one for disposing of contraband? No, maybe there should be, <laughs> especially when the fingerprints are on it. I mean, fingerprints on it would suggest that she had it on her person, but it's still not possession of. Oh, I mean, at one point she did have possession of moonshine. She's left it there. Mm -hmm. I, I would just do that charge. It's only ten days. Given that there's a lot of time she's wanted for, I doubt 10 days is going to matter in the grand scheme of 800 she's wanted for at the moment. Yeah. If we bring her in, we got to get an undersheriff too. Really? Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah, so she's a... probably getting money together for whatever she's got planned later. Probably. That was in her telegram. Hmm. But if you look at her citizen, thinking? if you look at her citizen file, there's a uh, under sheriff seal on one of the one of the cases. We can't uh, we can't pull that one from the file. Uh, I don't know anything about it. There's just a mark that says contact an under sheriff. Uh, hmm. I. <laughs> By the way, it's going to be interesting to see what she pulls off later today. Yep.
right, you know what? I'm not prepared for a big old gunfight right now. We'll get rid of some of this excess stuff out the pockets. We'll go for a stew. You want one? Hmm, would love one. All right. Go and get a stew. You want one? I'm okay, but thank you. That's an interesting one, chat, because, like, I can see there's the undersheriff report, but if we nab her later today, I can't press that charge. Because I don't know the details of what's in it, so that'll be... If we come across her and there's not an undersheriff, that's going to be an interesting one. It'll probably be a, hey, you're getting this with no, no chance of reductions or anything. You'll have to talk to an undersheriff further. Um... It would be interesting on how to go about that. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a wagon that just rolled in. Why did I recognize that character model that walked down there a minute ago? Fly spec, proven elk. Thank you for the rate of 38, buddy. How the devil are we doing? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome in, Raiders. Yo, proven. Thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome in. Shit. Amber Lily, hello. How the devil is everybody doing? Chat, welcome in. If you've never been here before, I am the slappy one. I role play Deputy Mark Hutchinson. I hope you're good. I'm doing great, man. I'm going to put this right here on the table for you, Keith. All right, I'll grab it in a sec. Yeah, man, I'm good. How was your role play this morning? Hope all's well. I miss running into fly spec, man. <laughs> My soul's empty without it. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yo, Zambi. What up, dude? How you doing? Mr. Handsome Hank himself. Welcome in, guys. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad to have everybody here. Hope you all had fun with uh, with, with Mr. Flyspec earlier. I miss running into Ten Ton, man. It's like one of the downsides of me just stepping back as much as I have lately is I, I miss running into the good groups. Oh. Not a damn thing on Law Line. We hope we run into you soon. Hopefully. But you guys might run into me on a different character than you realize here soon. We'll see how that goes, because there's another character of mine that hasn't been on stream in forever. That's got a little something cooking with with the member of Ten Ton. Barely, but it's there. That's a bank job. Everyone here owes me 20 bucks. If you call that, I will give you more than 20. Uh, you owe us 20 bucks. It's shine out of Southern Tall Trees. Well, shoot, we well heck. <laughs> Legal activity had uh, Southern Tall Trees. Uh, leaving Manzanita headed north. Let's go hunting, boys. Yeah. Don't forget your stew there, Keith.
Some manzanita heading north. Oh, big valley ways. Yep, big valley past Oangila. Is uh, Oath coming or? Oh, yeah. He likes the back door instead of the front door. There's a good reason for that, I guess. All right, let's go. You make good points. This is Manzanita headed north, which means they're likely headed up past Owengila to Big Valley, so we're going to try to rush straight that way. Hey. Wagon ahead. Fair. All right, let's pick it up. Staying straight. No idea who it could be, but definitely a possibility. All right, let's rest them. It very well could be uh, be her, it could be somebody else, it's hard to tell. If it is Eleanor, what do we do? That's a good question. I think we arrest a robot cane that doesn't need that fair share of approval and hold the Toyota under there. Yep. It's committed crimes, we can't slow. Well, it might be a case that uh, whatever's there, we just have to push for whatever time's listed because I do see a time on her paperwork. And then uh, we just let the undersheriffs know and they can address the rest from there. Also, keep in mind we're not to make deals with Eleanor Kane per undersheriff Graves. Thankfully, I've got some rapport with her, so if we do run into her, I'll talk uh, talk things over. Hmm. Man's in need of going north. Put them past Owengila. Maybe Big Valley, maybe something around Mount Shan. Maybe Coulter? I'm just trying to think. This one's going to have multiple stops, but where the stops are is the question. Wolves, ride through. Yep. Wagon, oh. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going. That was a local fella. Huh. Go back and check. I'm pretty yeah. sure it was. Hmm. Oh, I mean, I think it was. If 
Tuesday it is. Alright, yeah. I was pretty sure that was a local. You don't see many people dressed like that up this way. Cut right and avoid the bear. was a moonshiner going north from Manzanita, what would be some good places I'd want to drop my load off at? Might be the lumber yard somewhere near there. Hmm. I'm thinking of shadier places around Big Man. Might be... Uh, my bar's crossing. About a house over there. I just don't know where they are. I say north from Manzanita. Yeah, said uh, they were at Manzanita going north. So nearest place I would think of would be something outside of Strawberry, like maybe Monto's Rest or... You know, a couple of the points near there, maybe even around Mount Shan. Yeah, even that burnt fort. Is it drop off? Uh, which burnt fort? Uh, it's called Fort Riggs, I'm pretty sure. Just as you, we went past it already, just as you come out of Great Plains heading towards Strawberry. Hmm. Has the, has the cabins and the TP or two. In the dead end camp, maybe, or things actually mm. still being cold. I don't know if that's what y'all just said. Uh, maybe. Whereas, uh, dead end camp is, uh, just back a ways, right? We'd have to go back across the river, back into tall trees. But, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's the one in tall trees. Oh. If they had already, they might have already been there. They want to beat us there by a fucking country miles. Yeah, but if they're heading this way, we might catch them at the Owenjila Dam. Someone being chased by wolves to our right. <laughs> They've been, they're coming back. Hmm. All right, what do you guys think? We could either wait by Ongila to see if we get lucky, or maybe watch the uh, Bards cross and see if they keep heading east. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's uh, let's make our way back to the lumber yards at Strata Strawberry, a little forest area at Montos. Yeah. Make our way there, see if we get lucky. Sure. Because mm -hmm. I've been told once they make their first uh, drop off. Is that a bear? Bear? Oh. <laughs> Wolves? You okay? Anyone around here? Saints Cost and Sheriff's Department. Anybody out here hurt? Wait a minute. 
What if the bear got spare, uh, scared by a wagon? Yeah, my baby. This way. He didn't get bucked off, did he? Maybe. I don't see any horses in the field. Alright. He is. You okay? Dust in his ears. <laughs> Unfortunate. Stab. Maybe not stand so in front with this gun out while he's rubbing his ears. Actually, uh, that's a good point. Yep, just in case. Come up Big Valley Way. Mm. So I doubt they would have gone Owen Gila, or if they did, they shot east. So Bards would be our bet. As you yo, Reapy, I'm good, buddy. How are you? Some uh, some problems today, poor guy. Yeah, it gets like that. You know what? I'm gonna go find a bush over here near hanging dog. I have to go to the bathroom really, really bad, chat. So this is a perfect time! Chat. I'll be right back. Good chance to get water, stretches, all that good stuff. We'll
right, we're back. Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I had to pull out some wolves with my feet and my like, uh, <laughs> And then I guess I got some shit in my ears. That's right, it happens. Well, the good news is that Shiner didn't come up anywhere near Big Valley, so we know they went east towards Bards. Okay. I think it's, uh... It's probably a safe bet. We may not catch them. We can try to shoot down Bards, see if we get lucky, but they could be anywhere. Yeah, we can check. Maybe they went up this way and just missed us. Who knows? Maybe. We can check and maybe help back. What do you think? Go through Wallace, maybe uh, circle around Valentine? Sure. All right, let's go. Let's actually have to check Wallace. So that works out. Yeah, we could be at Wallace. Wagon ahead? Looks like it's a passenger wagon. Yeah. Let's go say hi. Howdy, Jim. You just doing the rounds again? All right, good talk. That's yeah, just Jim. He started a service for the locals up around Strawberry. Good fella. I'm just going to overlook the water for you and maybe get lucky. Yeah. Hmm. What are we humming? I removed a poster up here a while ago in the hopes that they'll come replace it and leave fingerprints. <laughs> Someone, someone keeps pestering the tip line with reports of someone tall with long brown hair and long claws. It's a bear. They're reporting a bear, but you know. <laughs> that sounds the, about the right. The posters talk about watching the lunar cycle and blood moon or some bullshit. So. Just trying to get what I can. Yep. Ready? Yep. Right, let's go to Valentine. We'll do a check in tip there. Sure. I'm also going to look over that moonshine dossier and see if we have that particular tip noted anywhere. Hmm. If we don't, I'll see if I can't log it in there with a general direction. Jim. All right, pass it on your left. Throat still hurts from yesterday. Going left. Actually, out of curiosity, for any of my chat who's in the States, has anybody been watching the news on this eyedrop recall stuff lately? 
because that has been my nightmare these last three weeks and why I ended up not going to Maple's ACT cert last night. My, my throat fucking hurts. So for context for everyone, uh, I work in a call center for a pharmaceutical company. These recalls had a news article run Thursday night that featured a lot of my company's product, or at least one of our brands. I took 60 fucking calls yesterday on that. Normally a day for me is like 30. It took 60. My vocals are... Take a look. It's a hammer. Okay. Is this one just sitting uh, here? Here, just sitting. Certainly mm. was. Well, there's a few more. So I'm just gonna take a look. I guess. Okay. 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 I ain't got this. I might be just stealing from this. Ran away. I mean, you, you've got just cause, mate. Yeah. I don't want to check the uh, pants to our right over there. And yeah, we're gonna protect you first, Bolo. Okay, this is full of medical supplies. Like completely full of medical supplies. Really? Okay. What's anything? You? Anything labeled? Um, didn't look like much. Okay. Just, just medical bags. Oh. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing, we can always bring this back to Valentine and check it in for uh, whoever the owner is. Yeah, I was just thinking that. It could just be a headache. Uh, very well could be. Yep. Oh, wait, this is our new one. Check this one. I'm gonna go check the tents real quick. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, anybody around here? Okay then. Preparing for war? I mean, it could be. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, anybody around here? Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Is anybody around these tents? If you're around here, yell out to me. If you're hurt, yell out to me too. Snake. Just a snake. That damn snake right in my way. Ain't nobody here. Anything in the crates? Just medical supplies and a hammer. Oh. All right. Tell you what, let's bring yeah, it back to Valentine. Get it, uh, get it checked in with wagon hands. All right, you go on to Valentine without me. I'll meet you there, buddy. Nope, you go that way, bagel. Good shape. Perfect shape. Yeah. I can't get on it. Maybe it's best just to roll this one. Hey, right, y'all turn away for a minute. It's okay. Sure. I'm gonna slap the ass of these horses and send them straight back to Valentine. 
Yep, run it. There we go. Okay, the medicines. Well, in the crossing, usually folks will carry some. Yeah, hopefully, whoever's wagon that is, they uh, they get it back. By the way, that was a good set of eyes. I didn't see it at all. I just all sitting there. Never seen moves. That wagon, yeah, but it does have four horses. It can't run any of us easily. So. Wow. That That's a, isn't that a really expensive wagon? Yeah. yeah. Anything with four horses is usually going to be near ten grand or more. Jesus. Carrying medical bags? I mean, that could be anything. Well, there's no reason to. We have no inkling that's involved at all, but it is all medical pleasure. Yep. That's why I uh, sent it back to Valentine ahead of us. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing uh, illegal in it, but you know the owner definitely probably wants it back. So. Because it could have been coming up the road. It could have been coming up from the river. I mean, that could have came from all. Yep. Let's send a tip real quick. They were back, and then uh, we'll see what's going on. Okay, I need to take like a whole nap. My hands feel very sticky. Something yeah, no, that's fine. To do that. Yeah, go ahead and head to the office, Bolo. I'll send the tip. Here. Hello, sir. I'm looking at this horse in the middle between ours. It feels kind of small. <laughs> yep. Tiny horse running around. Small but mighty. Mm. Almost a damn pony. My feet would drag on the ground if I rode it. <laughs> yeah, mine definitely would. Howdy, sir. South Scarlet Meadows. Uh, Want to go ahead to South Scarlet Meadows? Oh, isn't that uh, that's Panther territory? That is. Yeah. Mm. Got an injured out that way. You look at that, Chevalier sure. is the sheriff now. Yeah, Briggs told me that earlier. 
Well deserved, I reckon. Yeah, very well deserved. Mm -hmm. Let's see, South Scarlet Meadows is going to be... It's going to be between Rhodes and Braithwaite. Mm. It won't be down yep, at, down uh, that it's not going to be down at Bulger Glade, because Bulger Glade is its own tip. Could be Shady Bell. No, this. yeah, no, there's a panther den just beyond Bulger Glade. Mm. Alright, let's make our way. Bolo had to lay his head down. He was having some uh, sticky hands issues. What's the beverage? Oh, just a Sprite. It's only 12.30 in the afternoon. I ain't drinking no beer. How old was that tip? Uh, just a couple minutes before we got back into town. <laughs> okay. So I'm curious. I've been thinking on the whole Eleanor Kane thing today. Mm. Her telegram went to Isla White. Yep. Saying something about taking from those who have too much. Mm -hmm. Saint Denis Bank. Also mentioned the Greys and the Braithwaites. Yep. And giving back to the people of Rhodes. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, but they're taken from those who have too much. The city of Saint Denis got a ton of shit, a ton of money. That bank holds a lot yeah, of it. Likely is going to be the bank of the Braithwaites and the Greys. Hmm. Rhodes is likely not going to carry that amount. Plus, they're going to give it back to Rhodes. What's the point in taking from a bank in a city if you're going to give it back to its own people? It, it doesn't. It doesn't track logically. What would make more sense is go to a city that's got more money in a bank, which Kane would know from her time mm. in law. Because St. Denis just doesn't get robbed outside of here and there for very high-end items, which I think last time was 10-ton gang. Right. Mm. So, St. Denis makes sense. It hadn't been hit in a while. Let's cut right. Yep. Yes, my gut tells me that her and the Miles gang are probably going to go after St. Denis. Take from the really rich, give to the poor people of Rhodes. Mm. I'm also concerned with that strong box that supposedly was mentioned. Yeah. I'm concerned that, on the flip side, that she thinks that someone needs to know where it is. I think she's thinking this is going to be a final stand. 
All or nothing. Take from Saint Denis to give to Rhodes or go down swinging. Leave a will and testament yeah, behind for Isla to find if the worst happens. I didn't want that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's planning for the worst, hoping for the best. Yeah, I mean, she knows how these things go, so. And she's no stranger to it, giving her time in Bluestone, giving her time with the department. Gosh, she's Bluestone as well. And she's Bluestone for a season. Did a couple transports with her. Let's take the tracks. Oh. Yep. Yeah. And I thought she was actually on a fairly decent track, and I look and she's wanted for a little bit, and I look again and she's wanted for 800 days. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't make sense at all. Something's caused her to, to lose track again. I know she didn't exactly live by the straight and narrow, but she also never was this dirty of an outlaw, you know? Cut through town, see if we see anything, and if not, we'll push on to Bulger Glade. Yes. <laughs> so in the telegram, Eleanor mentioned someone named Hawk. Any idea who that could be? Nope, no idea. Mm. It's a couple in the registry, but... Remember a year ago, there was a shootout in St. Denis with a group called the Red Water Company. Mm -hmm. I nearly died that day. Took four to my gut. Jesus. Required a <laughs> blood transfusion. Cross. That day that Shaw shattered his femur, he was, uh, we had a thing called Battle Buddies at the time. Shaw was mine. We flanked around, and Sheriff Rabbit and someone else flanked the other side. And I think we mistook each other for the enemy. Shaw and I paid oh. a heavy price for it. Oh, shit, that's awful. Yeah, that's worse. Right. God. Ah, well, I bring that up because... Well, the Redwater Company, I believe their name was Hawk. Mm. So I wonder if maybe it's a mention to a gravesite. Maybe. I, I do think she said he. Mm. Talk to Hawk. He he knows where it is. I'd have to, I'd have to look at the thing again. But uh, yeah, I'm fairly certain it was a, it was a he Hawk. I gotcha. Where's this panther den at? Uh, further down. There are a couple down this way. Hmm. Yeah, we normally don't get tips from out here, Shady Bell, Bulger Glade area. Hmm. Unless there's good reason. Yeah. Unless someone accidentally blew themselves up at Shady Bell. Not ideal. Yeah. yeah. We can go to Shady Bell and check that out as well. See if we hear anybody yeah, uh, creaking and groaning. We'll check that first. Yeah, we'll check that first because it's closer. Yeah, that's the, that's the quick and more logical route. Yeah, yeah. Shady Bell is not its own tip, is it? Not that I'm aware of, but okay. I'm not really too educated in this whole stuff. I don't 
see any horses. Here, I'll go left, you go right. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, anybody around here and hurt? Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, is anybody around Shady Bell and hurt? Yell out to me if you are. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, anybody around here hurt? Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Is anybody around here? Nothing. Nope. All right. Let's go check some panther dens. So just around this next corner, you see the edge of the forest, there's a den there. Huh. So it's just some other way down. Of course it's dark and foggy. Yep, weapons out just in case. Search and rescue, hello. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Is anybody around here? Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Is anybody here and you hurt? Yell out to me if you are. Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Anybody here? I'm gonna go check this camp over here. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Is anybody out here hurt? Yell out to me if you are. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Anybody around here hurt? Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Anybody here? Say house back there, always as well. Yep, let's go. Say house. Cabiny hut thing. <laughs> Some kind of structure in the woods. This ice structure. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Anybody here and hurt? Yell out to me if you are. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. Is anybody here?
Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department, search and rescue. If you're inside, make yourself known. I'm coming in with a gun. If you do have one, you're likely to get shot. Coming in. This place is a mess. Mm. Clear. Well. And nothing of note inside. Looks like it hadn't been occupied in a long time. Mm. Yep. Yeah. One more spot. Yeah, we can circle around the uh, west side of Braithwaite. That tip said South Scarlet Meadow, but we can circle around Braithwaite and maybe work our way up the western side yeah. of Boulder Glade. Uh, no, there's still that. There's a structure to the south of us. We're not. We're not completely south yet. Mm. Let's yeah. work our way there. That's a snake. Go on, buddy. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department search and rescue. Is anybody here? Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department search and rescue. Is anybody here? Make yourself known. Damn turkeys. You see the fat buddy of a turkey and it just starts running. It makes you think of somebody, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Search and rescue. Is anybody around here? Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Search and rescue. Is anybody here? Make yourself known. Disarm yourself, else you'll be deemed a threat and liable to be shot. Going around back. Back door's clear. Got white hair in here. What? Yeah, white hair. And some old footprints. Man, look at that, he's got a lot of dust on him. Some white, white hair. Mm. Honestly, I'd say that's not paid any mind right now. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Is anybody in the shack? Make yourself known. Do 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 do. Nothing here. You know who had uh, you know who had white hair? Who? Irene. Huh. You think that could have been it? Not much to go on, unfortunately. Yo! <laughs> Thank you for the rate of 122, dude. How we doing? Lily's thank you for the follow. Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing? Folks, welcome on in. If you're coming in with Brad, my name is The Slappy One. I roleplay Deputy Mark Hutchinson with the Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department on Wild. Hope you guys are well. Look at that. Get all the 07s. All the 07s. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Brad, I hope your session was good. Rescue. Anybody out here? 
Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department search and rescue. Is anybody here? Brad, I hope you had a really good uh, good stream, good RP session. I love running into Lucian when I can. Oh, Brad, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Lilies of the Valley, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. Chad, did you guys have fun with Brad today? Hope y'all did. Uh, Valkyrie, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Enjoyed our time the other day looking at the pigs in. <laughs> let's let's yep. do what you said. Yeah, circle west around Braithwaite. Go up the uh, other side of Bulger. Okay. Yeah, sure. yeah, let's right. go for it. Uh, Alex, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, that, that yeah, search into the Pixins was fun. There was a big meta drop that we had off stream on that one today, too. Yeah, if we don't find them, I'm thinking that somebody's already picked them up and brought them in. Mm, I hope so. Yeah, I do, too. <laughs> Can't get over thinking what you said about that wet hair. Mm. Could that really have been where they took her, though? Oh, I don't know. It looked... Like you said, those, those footprints were barely there. Yeah, there's a lot of dust on them. I'd say almost two days. Yeah. make a note of regardless mm. well maybe that puts us one step closer to finding her yeah maybe chat this music with this fog is not helping but yeah brad the pixton's investigation took a major turn today that i was not expecting to have happen or who was involved with it so that was a cool thing to find out but i do love running into uh lucian when i do Check over here real quick. Sure. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department search and rescue. Is anybody here? Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department search and rescue. Is anybody around here? It actually matched the name. Oh yeah, we got a name. We got a name, but there's a lot more that I can't say yet. <laughs> there's a reason I had that one off stream because it's a big thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it meta guarded for now. Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Is anybody around here? If you're hurt, yell out to me. It's exciting. Oh, yes, it is. I love it when stuff like that just, you get that dog leg left. Pass by Braithwaite, and then we'll head back to Rhodes. Sure. Maybe we'll get lucky. <laughs> Scratch that service to find a rabbit hole underneath. So cool. That is exactly, Riviera. Exactly. That's why I love roleplay. Like, you scratch a little bit of surface with a story, and then all of a sudden you see, like, this giant tunnel of stuff that's been set up leading to it, and you're just like, oh, fuck yes. Like, those are the best stories, the best events to me. I love things like that. Hutch has got a... Hutch has had a lot of those, um... Those events with him all along. Is 
There's a few of his own personal story hooks that have yet to be uncovered, too, that have a few of those that are there, but I haven't found a way to set them up right yet. And that's going to be really fun. <clears throat> you know, I made it by the St. Denis Medical Office today for the first time. Mm-hmm. Actually went I in. Think, uh... mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. go see her. I was there. Just it. Yeah. Let's go to Rhodes. Yeah, sure. I haven't heard if she's been moved out yet or not, or if she had to go out of state. But yeah, like you said, it's a good step. At least made it in the office. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. you how's things been with you lately yeah. angel thank you for the follow oh uh. <laughs> you okay yeah fine. I heard a bee come around you and it looked like you were having a headache from it yeah a little bit I think it is. Hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Hello. It's MJ, ladies and gentlemen. We were found, by the way. That's that's Lionel Miles, by the way. Yeah, he's wanted for five hundred days. Wait, where is he? Right outside. Oh, there we go. Just right outside. Let's get him. He's taken off. Went left. You know how sound bounces around funny. Yeah. 
Let's find our other deputies and get back. He's lost us in these woods. Sure. I had him for a little bit. Having a conversation with him. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He also has Addy's telegram, so something to keep in mind. Who's? Uh, Addy, the person whose horse ran you over. Oh, okay. Uh, why would that be important that he's got her telegram just? At Curiously. Well, if they're planning something, they might try and get her for be a hostage or something. I don't know. Mm. You never know. Do you think he would stoop that low to telegram someone to meet just to take him hostage? Anything's possible. I don't underestimate anyone. That's yeah, true. I can't say I've ever heard of that happening, though. No, no, mate. It's close to everyone. True. True, true. We'll head back to the office chat. Hey. Okay? I'm okay. I'm as okay as I can be. How about yourself? Um, yeah, let's go with that answer. I like that. Uh, you have any luck? You what do you mean? Uh, I had no luck with I Lionel. Office, I tracked I him Lionel as far as uh, just past Braithwaite and, and he lost me in the forest. Like okay. Shit, I heard a fucking noise. That might have been you riding past oh. me. Yeah, I was uh, hard on his tail. I was only about maybe five horse lengths mm. back. How long did this? 500? 500 I, plus? I, I, when I was in the office, I Actually, Sheriff, I need to talk with you out like back real quick on something too. Some direction. Where's... There was okay. three of you. That's, uh, yeah, where's, what's the where's other? Bullet? God damn it. Right, uh, I'm not, I won't forget, okay? <laughs> Just, uh, let's, let's work out where our person is. Yeah. I'll do a lap attempt. Actually, I'll, I'll chat with you afterwards, because this is more on what to do if a scenario happens. I do not like the sound of that, but okay. I'll give you one name and you probably already know. What now? Eleanor Kane. Okay. Sorry? No, um, yep, that's, that's not, yeah, okay. Yeah, we uh, definitely need a chat. Well, I'm just curious because we had a telegram intercept of her this morning. Something is happening today. She's involved. And I saw that there's a seal of an undersheriff on a file I can't get to. All right. But apparently the secretary thinks that it's worth some wanted days, so I'm curious if we do get her, what do I do? Let me, uh, listen, I, I don't want to start speaking out of turn without knowing the full picture, so, uh, I need to be near an office. I can open some files and have a look, okay? Yeah, that's fair. Where, uh, where was Bolo when you saw him? Last I saw him was at the telegram station. That he was, true. I was the closest one. Everyone else is spaced out behind me. Okay. Right, I'm gonna grab a drink of water. You wanna head up to the telegram station? I'll meet you there in just a second. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go out searching in the forest. 
Uh, wait till uh, Ulf is back. He might have found him. All right, yeah, we'll do. And uh, I mean, if he's willing to pick someone up or worried enough, uh, maybe you should deal with him. We can uh, we can talk a bit more on the road. That's fair. Uh, there's Ulf. Looks like he's on his own still. Anything? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Maybe up at the camp. I've seen Lionel up at the Irish camp. Uh, let's find Bolo. Pretty sure he's in yeah, the woods probably. outside. See where we lost uh, Bolo at? Up in town. That's the last I heard. He was behind. Hmm. Out of this, sir. Yeah, you wanna you wanna follow your route again? We'll uh, follow the path for Mrs. Horse or something. Yeah. All right. Let me get my horse. Took off this way. Just follow you exactly, okay? One left. Hang on, we lost the. Uh... Okay, here he is. Let's just stay together. Yep. He went out this way. He went right towards the woods. Okay. So, a lot of dangerous things to uh, catch a hoof on here. Yep. Fucking kind of. <laughs> Think it'll still fire if we mounted it on a boat or something? Interesting you say that. We got many other people. Uh, there's only been one or two here and there at most. Yeah, he took me into the woods from here. That's where I lost him. Bolo's with you right up until this point. Uh, the closest one to me was Oath. No. Bolo was even farther behind him. No. There was a point you said left. I said left and looked around. There was no one following me. So, And that was closer to roads. Mm. Right, let's head back I don't think Bolo even got this far. So. Dare I say we try a bush call? Sure. Sweet Mousy! Hello! Lionel Miles. How uh, has he got formed to kidnap a deputy? <laughs> Not that I know about. Okay. Maybe we're worried over nothing then. Yeah, maybe. Wait, we lost. Where's Keith? 
just behind us. There he is. Okay. Hello. Um, been out for a little bit. Maybe take this path on the left back, just in case, and then uh, head back to the office. See if we got anything else. Mm, sounds like a plan. I know he's been having some headaches all day too, so that could have played a factor. Yeah, okay. Mm, that's true, yeah. If I had to guess, Lionel uh, took the coast and headed back towards St. Denis Way. If anything, yeah, Bolo might have gone up this way, so. Okay, listen, uh, we can catch him an hour tomorrow. I just want to make sure I get back. Yeah, I don't absolutely. Want anyone out here to hurt. MJ did say that when she was back in the office, she was like, masks, so Wait, what? I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. A lot of people were talking at once. Well, yeah. You know something's wrong. Yeah, something don't sit right. Yeah. But if it's, uh, it's not warm, Worry a little bit less. But a lot of bad folk out there still. Yeah. I think. Is that him? There he is. Yeah, I traced him in the sand and leave. Oh, there you go. And then he, okay. he local, so I stopped the measure. You okay, though? Oh, I'm fine. Uh, I didn't want to be shooting, in, you know, make a city in the crossing, so. That's a uh, smart no. one, Walter. Yeah. We were worried uh, you didn't come back. We might have been uh, hurt or something somewhere. But, uh, I'll check the in. Okay. Um, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's not the reprimand in you. It's just. Uh, oh, right, yeah. That's all. He doubled back on y'all. I was trailing behind and I saw him. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head back to the office, work some things out, and work out where we need to be. He's got a big something planned today. He, he ran like he could not be caught. Oh yeah. Uh, MJ was speaking to him for quite a bit, so uh, she might have got to pull back the curtains a bit. We yelled back yep. and forth for a while through Santa Lee. Howdy, MJ. Howdy, howdy. Hello. Hey, uh, did someone catch up with you about the, the robbery at Blackboard Bank? Ranger just found South Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I tried to tell you what before uh, all this happened, but yeah, sorry. Uh, no, 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 there was a lot going on. You nothing to be sorry for. Hmm. Interesting. Anyone's drunk at work or stop doing it? I don't mind. I just want to make sure we're not that woman. What's that? About what just happened? Back when it started. Uh, you got hurt. Yeah. You, okay. you're, the only one sure. that, yeah you're the only one that actually traded words with him, so go for it. 
Perfect. Okay. Ooh, I didn't want to make cobbler. y'all do extra work. Wait, peach cobbler, where? From Eddie. She enjoys biking. She wants to give back to the department, so. Mm -hmm. You're finished off. Can I have two words? You have three if you want. All right. Well, the first two words are nice ball, and the uh, next two words. Thank are... you. Okay. Listen. At some point, you uh, you mind taking MJ to Blackwood Bank, trying to assess what was taken, what was damaged, what's what's what. Okay. I think should have someone had. Rummage for all my things. I uh, I might be a bit upset. Too. There was a robbery at Blackwater Bank. A lot of her family uh, vaults and documents were affected. Uh. Specifically hers. Well, the well. All right, I'd appreciate that. You uh, all right? What was that report? One you telegram me about one seven. Hmm. So what would Lionel Miles be wanted for? What's he got? 
Um, maceration of chest follow up. Uh, close your deputy. You can put a bounty on Donnie Barton. Got an under sheriff case that I need to talk with Hart about. Um, Assaulting Paxton, Quarrel, work murdered. Thank you for that. I uh, I gotta check one spot. It's just out of town, and then I'll uh, I'll be back to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. If it's uh, less, if, if it's if, pressing, if it's urgent right now, I can deal with it now. But I, I won't be long. No. If uh, I, if you don't mind, when I know the spot and I know the reason. Uh, yes. Yeah, just go ride safe, yeah. sheriff. All right. I'll be back. Yeah. I'll Thank we'll you. handle that other thing when you're uh, back. You two better be safe or else. What? I have tongs. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> what the hell? What? I, I, no, just hearing your two banter through the wall. Well, what did you hear? Mm. Out, of, out of context, that, that's a very interesting conversation. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. But yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. We're just safe. friends, all right? We're just friends that talk about tongues, all right? I know. Hey, uh, Go. Where can I buy a hammer? Store with a freight. Hello. There's Sawmill and Strawberry. There's a little lumber building. Yeah. Yeah. Sawmill and Strawberry. There's also a fella at the uh, woodworking place just across from the horse stable in Blackwater. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Be you safe. Want. You two better come back safe. <laughs> We're like their fucking parents. <laughs> I feel okay. like a dad to have this damn department. On. I'm not going on duty at the minute because yesterday was, you know what, absolute shit is how I'm going to put it. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry thinking. To hear that. Hmm? I'm sorry to hear that. Those days suck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of reaching out to some cadets, maybe trying to talk to them, get some extra feedback for them at the very least. I can't train them, but I can talk to them about things, attempt to prepare them, for, them to be for training. Yep. Well, I mean, there's nothing saying you can't teach them things. It just means well, you can't... I can teach them things. I just can't sign them off on anything. Mm -hmm. But you can also give feedback to those who can sign it off and put your word. Mm -hmm. uh, I've yeah. done that several times, even before the certifications came out, where I would take cadets through uh, pursuit training or through bank training. Mm -hmm. And because of my time and tenure with this department, because of my experience, uh, I would do a full workup in a telegram, and that way a senior could effectively de facto sign it off without actually having been there to see it. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing saying you can't do that uh, at all and get that feedback from what you saw, not only in their file, but in a direct personal report to a senior or, you know, FTO or someone to sign it off. Okay. 
I don't know how I feel about the fact that in cadet feedback for someone, one of the action items is slap the fucking green out of him. Which I don't know how I feel about that. Which cadet had that? Uh, it was Sven Stone, so Pebbles, oh, him? and it was feedback from Weller. Oh, that's typical Weller feedback. That's that's nothing new for him. That's um, basically him just saying, uh, look, mm -hmm. this guy is, you know, green as grass. We need to, uh, slap the green out of him, teach him things, mm -hmm. get him, you know, not into a greenhorn mm -hmm. state. A lot of this stuff says that this cadet is not very vocal. He's... Like a bit quieter, I think. Getting some one on one training might help. Some advice in that way. Because I, I, I took a long time as a kid. Yeah, for a I lot of too. reasons. Because I wanted, I wanted to. I'm a very visual learner. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not noted down for everyone what kind of learner they are. But I don't know if maybe he needs to see how things play out and then mimic it mm. with like a talking it through or step by step yeah sometimes you're gonna do that hell my mm. cadethood lasted a month and a half huh. mm -hmm. mine was about a month yeah mine was a month and a half now granted there's a caveat to that uh because for one of the weeks last year I was having uh, some issues with my back, so I had to go out of state to go see one of the fancy back doctors in Atlanta. Uh, and it was yeah. bad enough that it was triggering severe migraines every single day. Yeah, um, yeah, that's very fair. Yeah, they said something about my muscles and this, that, and the other. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but mm -hmm. uh, the other one was the week of Thanksgiving, so actually a year ago uh, this mm -hmm. next week. Oh, what's the bells? The bell. Western the coming bell. in forest. There is a moonshine. I am going to sleep though. At least for a little bit. Yeah, good work today, Bolo. I'm not fucking going on duty at the minute. I, I know you're off duty. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, but I do, mm. I did add a witness statement slot for you for what I talked about with him. Okay, we were talking a lot about justice, and he was talking a bunch of shit about how Inya, Lucia, you both know her, I assume, how she's not as good as everyone thinks. Well, he's clearly planning for something later today. So if he mentioned yeah. anything about what that might be, it probably is pretty yeah. like. The funny thing is, he said he was talking about all that, oh, moving, a bunch of stuff, to a different fellow at the Telegram. And he was like, what about you, miss? And it's like, Miles, you know me. Hello. <laughs> I've been writing a yeah. tip the entire time we've been talking. I didn't tell him that, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, fella. we we yelled back and forth for a while during that chase because I couldn't. I didn't want to shoot in town. Um, yeah. So he definitely is playing something. He was not going to give up and double fog because they're planning something big today. My guess, bank maybe. Uh, I don't know, but it sounded like a big livery. And they've dealt with Sean a lot before. That is true. It's a very good point, actually. I don't know. Either way, if you feel like there's any improvement, I did add a spot for that. You don't need to do it. I know you have to do it now to feel bad making the paperwork. But... I will add it when I can. I'm a little bit scrambled today. I came <laughs> into fine. town, checked my telegrams, had to send some telegrams I really didn't want to send. And then Miles walks in and starts a conversation with the person next to me. It's like, <sighs> <laughs> that's about how it goes. Before, before he was doing horrendous shit, me and okay, listen, you can't talk about this with other people, okay? Sure. Me and him had a deal. If he didn't do crime for a week, I'd go out on a date with him. Since he said he wanted to take me out on a date, this was before he did horrendous shit. And then he he couldn't last a week, so. Well, he's a pathetic you can't little man a week for who cannot wait one week to yeah. not commit crime. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that he couldn't wait a week. If he can't wait a week to commit crimes, I was going to commit more than a week to somebody, you know, as a person. It, it says a lot about someone. He's like, oh. It does. 
he, he talks about justice and all these things. I have telegrams from him talking about justice and shit and how his justice is for the victims. This fella has fucking robbed banks and trains and shit. How's that helping people? Is Moonshine justice? Really? Moonshine's justice. Yeah. <sighs> no, his justice. Oh, that time is... I tortured someone and nearly killed him? Justice. He's wanted for a murder right now. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Although he did deny that vehemently on our on our scenic stroll ticket. So, I don't know. And his fingerprints were not on the scene, just others were. Mm -hmm. So maybe they would push that to one of her questions, but you know, that's not my call, so. Either way, I wish anyone going on duty luck with whatever they have planned, I'm going to be back around, but I need to just been quiet down for a little bit, so. Uh, have yeah. a little, have a little nappy time. A, a little, little nap time. time. It was sleepy time, Betty Bars. Go to bed. I'll be in the morning. <laughs> are you sleeping in the office? Okay, no offense. People who sleep in the office are fucking psychopaths. Nope. No, I'm not. Now that you make it. Follow. Yep. Follow. Yeah. yeah. Room 2B. Go next door. Use my room. 2B. Okay. 2B. I'll be better, up. It'll be spot. better than my room in Blackwater. I have the unfortunate number 1D. If you make a joke, I will hit you with a clipboard. <laughs> I'm I see no... you returning. <laughs> no, you know what? No, I'll filter it out. Never no, mind. no, no, come back. <laughs> see if I can hit you with a clipboard in time before you get in that room. No, 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 no. Not uh -huh. walking through that trap. Nope. You, you, yeah. You're okay. Yeah, what's up? Oh, okay. I asked if you were okay, and I didn't hear you. I, I, I didn't hear you. I'm... Oh, it's okay. It's uh, it's gonna take more work to to find out, but it's something. Mm. Uh, get some people go there and help out, but it'll take some time. Okay, Hutch, you uh, you want a minute? Yeah. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. I said this one's not exactly uh All right. needs to do address now matter. All right, you happy talking here? Yeah, that's fine. It's not a big secret. Okay. Um, so with Lionel Mills, they're apparently doing something today. Uh, we had a telegram copy sent to us from the postmaster from an Eleanor Kane, who I'm sure you remember. Yeah. So I started looking into everything with her, and in her citizen file. There is a record that is marked out with the seal of an undersheriff, meaning an undersheriff report. I don't have the ability to see it, but the secretary seems to think it's adding up a lot of days that she's wanted for, too. So I'm curious if something were to happen and say Miss Kane does get arrested later today. If an undersheriff or sheriff is not present for that incident, uh, what do we do? Okay, how long she wanted uh, outside of that file? Outside of the file, I think north of 600 days. With the file, just shy of 800. My math may be a little bit off with it. Okay, so, uh, listen, this is a... Uh, I'm not entirely fucking sure answer, but with my uh, with my sheriff hat on, you, uh, you charge from what you can, what you know, what you got the evidence for. And uh, then you put out a telegram, get them, uh, get them there as, get someone there as quick as you can. And I imagine they'll, uh, they'll call on you, okay? But I'll, uh, I'll get this report reviewed as quick as I can, and I'll see if I can fill you in, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I understand if you can't. Um, I'm just trying to think ahead. You know, we know something is going down today. The way the telegram is worded, which if you have a minute, I would encourage you to read that report. Uh, we've got it transcribed there. She's planning for their, some kind of taking from the rich and giving to the poor, acting almost like a, a de facto Robin Hood of today. Um, but there's also a contingency that if something were to go down, uh, a 
last will and testament of sorts was uh, mentioned in that. So that's why I'm just planning ahead. If something happens, what do we do with that one report? I don't know what it's about. Couldn't tell you, but. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot more awkward. I, I get you. Well, we might have to work something out here. If, if she's only wanted for 15 days outside this, then uh, I, how do you fucking charge for that? But with uh, with this one and certainly any like this, if you get someone, you can put them away. She's going to Sisica for a decent chunk of time and then uh, get her in Sisica and then the rest can be added and investigated and charge on after the fact, okay? Okay. That's what I was thinking was going to be the answer to that, but I wasn't entirely sure because I've never, in my year with this department, never actually had that circumstance come Yeah, like you know what? I, I've been with the department for, like, multiple years, and uh, I don't think I've ever had this come up as well. So, uh, listen, I'll chat to the sheriffs about this one because this is a sticky wicket. It's, a, it's definitely a... <laughs> <laughs> I stumbled into a sticky one, Hart. No, no, it's good to know. This is uh, This is how we can work out things. Yeah. Speak to the other sheriffs, the under sheriffs, and we'll uh, we'll try and get something to you. But well done for spotting it. I appreciate you uh, you asking about it and doing it in a good way. Not like I had, I can't do my job because I've been blank from this report. But uh, I think there is a somewhat good uh, good reason why it's it's like that for now. But uh, let me let me get a little bit of approval and whether we get you pulled in the loop or. Uh, we work on getting it to the right, the information, put in a, a useful way. And uh, I'll get that going, okay? Yeah, that's fair. Or if you can't fill me in on all the details, you guys can give me something to go after. And uh, I do get a hold of her. Maybe I can get that information for you guys, too. Okay. I mean, so, yeah, it is a sizable charge she's, uh, she's wanted for on this one. Yeah. Well, I actually have some pretty decent rapport with Eleanor Kane, so... Uh, yeah, if there's uh, if I do get a hold of her and there's any specifics she'll need on whatever is going on with that, uh, I'll see if you uh, see if maybe I can't find y'all a few bones to work with. Just be aware, she seems to uh, use any information she can very delicately. So just be careful what you tell her and uh, how she might twist it. Mm. Yeah, that I'm aware of. She's a crafty one, but then again, so am I. Yes, you are. Okay, perfect. Right. How many people we got around? Oh, escorting one to Blackwood. Okay, yeah, he's, uh... He's taking care of that. Looks like Cameron's down in Blackwater. Humblem Forest, we're probably a bit far away from that. Yeah, it's also uh, been a while since that one came out. We can also uh, go and sweep in San Denis for, for miles, maybe. You know, I was actually just thinking that, because I was supposed to do a foot patrol this morning, and then I got pulled into uh, into Keith telling me what he told you. Yeah, I... Uh, you know about that? Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, I'm the secondary on the Pigston's case, which is where we found that intel. Uh, listen, I'm not. I, I as I said to, uh, to Oath, I'm not going to stomp all over someone's case. I don't want to do that. You've been working hard on that, so uh, I just asked to be kept in the loop, okay? Because uh, she wouldn't be, or they would be someone I'd be interested in speaking to. Yeah, understandable. All right. If, uh, uh, you might end up with a couple of uh, duplicate telegrams, but as soon as I fine. know something, you'll know something. Okay, I appreciate that a lot. Mm. All right, let me uh, let me update that report. <laughs> I'm gonna get a stew share if you want one. Uh, yeah, vegetarian place. Yeah. Good. How about you? Unwanted.
Did he? He just circled back on me. Okay. We might be getting into some space here in a minute, chat. Do 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 do. That seems sus. Yeah, it seemed a little bit sus. It's all right. Though. That's all right, though. I want Hutch to get involved in shit. being hurt for a while. Hey, now, if the story is good enough for it, I'll run with it. There you go, Sheriff. Hey, uh, give me just a second. Mm. All right, we, uh, we got anyone else outside or just me and you? Just you and I here in town. Okay, perfect. How'd you feel about a bit of training soon as well, if uh, things stay somewhat peaceful? What, like taking a cadet out? No, like, uh, naval assault. All right, you've got me interested. Okay, I, uh, I'm going to put a telegram out before we go, and then we'll head to send an E, and we'll see if we got any interest. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's I just woke up. Can I grab a ride for the telegrams, please? Yep. Yeah. Thanks. What you doing? Um, we are going to send it. Like I do to Morga? Okay. <laughs> oh. Naval assault. By the way, Clem. Yeah. One of the telegrams you have is from me. I don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I found out uh, an answer to that question after I sent it. Oh, I see. Let's do uh, this one. I'm working on it. Chat, these are still from uh, my cadethood. So it's been almost a year now. <laughs> this is when I got my West Elizabeth assignment. It was like right at the beginning of December, so shit. God, it's been almost a year we've been a deputy, chat. It's not, uh, okay, listen. All right, listen here, you. All right. I've, uh, I've sent the tip about the uh, the training. If you're interested, just add yourself as respond, and I can get a. Uh... What what type of training is it? Uh, naval assault. Does that mean going out on the water? It means having boats and uh, location from the water, as in beaching. Boarding in a location and uh, making sure we're efficient if that ever happens. Uh, no, I'll skip out on that one. Thanks, though. Okay. It's uh, just something I want to have in the back pocket, you know? Hmm. You, uh, you want to come to St. Denis and look for Miles, or? Yeah, okay. Can I stay on the back of your horse, or do I have to be a big <laughs> ride my own horse? <laughs> I think you answered your own question there, right? Dang it, let's go to the stables if that's okay. Yeah. Be I told I told Julius Bradshaw that if he's a good boy over Christmas, he can get his rifle back. But I said if he's a bad boy at any point between now and Christmas, he doesn't get it back. Are you gonna give him a call? 
I'll give him a pair of handcuffs if he breaks the oh, law. Oh, you should give him call. Howdy. Hey, uh, you gonna go mark yourself as responded to that? Yep. Oh, I thought you were telling me. Chat, naval assault training? Count me the fuck in. We might drown, lol. Oh, dang it. Is that the name of your horse? That's a good name for a horse. <laughs> no, it's, his name is Stripe. This is the horse you bought me. Give me, uh, give me one. That's a good looking horse. You, you bought me this horse. <laughs> give me one second. Hey, take your time. Also, I think you're pretty ambitious wanting to talk to Lady. She uh, didn't give us anything. You don't lady? have the emotional charge that I do related to that. Ship might have gone south between Shipman and I, but that doesn't mean I don't want answers. Well, just be careful. I would speak to Lawson about it. He's the one that's been putting a lot of effort into it. Hmm. Okay, how'd you late? I want two. Can we wear pirate hats too? I believe that question was to you, Hutch. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. What miles are we looking for? Lionel Miles. He's wanted for 500 days. Just fled from us outside of Rose to Saint Denis. Go right. All right. Now, we've intercepted a telegram from Eleanor Kane that the Miles family is moving stuff today. We also found. Oop, out of there. <laughs> and we've also got a. We also found a stash of their moonshine and black water this morning. Princess Mouse, thank you for the follow. That's good. Nice work. Rider ahead. Out of there, passing on your right. All right, I'll tell you what, madam. If we can convince Panda to let us wear tricorns for this training, I will play the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song. Ever run past someone and they say that your horse looks better than their wife? If I ever hear somebody no. say that, I'm going to deck them myself. Out of there. Hello there. Yeah, we saw Miles. He, uh, he had a salt and pepper hair. I believe a gray colored horse. Uh, last seen coming into Saint Denis from Rhodes, most likely on the coast. Understood. So, plan is to swing by the usual suspects: Telegram, Bastille, Blue Pearl. Check a few of the odds and ends as well through the city. Land, please, sir. I 
would make senior cadets, so I've been told I can help out as needed. Okay. Well, again, you follow instructions. You got a weapon on you? Yes, sir. What kind of weapon? Uh, I've got my old Lancaster here. I'm not much good the sidearm, but got it as well. Double action. Sheriff, do we want to stock him up before we go? Yep, that's a good idea. All right, let's go to the office. I've got uh, 150 rounds of rifle ammunition on this. Holy shit! All right, never mind. He's good to go. 150. That's working numbers. <laughs> really? You carry that much ammunition? I, I carry about three to four hundred on me every shift. Good yeah. I carry a 300 rifle when I know I'm going into a fight. 200 any other time. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you know how many people try to kill me every day, Sheriff Hart? <laughs> Do you know how many bullets I got on me right now? This part goes in my weapon. <laughs> 38. <laughs> no, just don't fucking miss. That's the <laughs> No! No, you should have more. That's 38 bad guy or 39 if you get lined up with each other. <laughs> I think Sheriff Park can take them all out in one bullet. <laughs> Sheriff Hart's over here ready to take out half the damn cross and 38 bullets. Gonna ricochet rounds. <laughs> if, if I know something's going down, I'll go get like a hundred. Fuck. That's really making me mad. Why? I, I, I'm just unexplicably mad at you. <laughs> Don't worry, Clem. I'm right there with you, and you carry plenty of bullets, Club. I'm, I'm not worried. even understand why you're angry. <laughs> you know how disconcerting it is for members of the public to hear the fucking deputies rattle of bullets every time they uh, walk back? At least they know we're fucking coming, right? It's like we got a little bell on us. Listen, I also got some shotgun shells and pistol shots on me too. You got a shotgun? Yeah, it's, uh, it's tucked in trouble here. Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> really? You let me use the shotgun? Uh, if, if there was things necessary for it, yeah. You can pump and dump them, yeah. <laughs> That's the name of my shot. I think there's some phrasing to be had there. <laughs> Going right out of there, sir. Going right. I mean, it's a pump action That's shotgun. Pump and dump seems pretty appropriate. You know, it does. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> pump and dump! <laughs> Y'all ever shoot an elephant rifle? Uh huh. Two of it make me crouch as I used hers. There's a reason for that. I thought my shoulder that was going to Let's go out. right. I, I caught the island end of that conversation. Tibbets makes me crouch as I use hers. What are we talking about? <laughs> Elephant rifles. <laughs> you truly crouch yep. is a good idea. I was in her mass. We have elephants around here. Oh, you seen that fellow who works in Sissica? No. Right, going left. No, I don't. For miles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Well, what else we know about I don't is know uh, Lando Lando Lando. that well, except he asked my dad out for a drink. I've never interacted with him, so I couldn't tell you much more myself. We'll go straight past the medical office. I should probably get rid of these most rats. Hart, Wait. did you hear that uh, Mr. Wayne and Todd Pan are back? Oh, that's good. I was, uh, they cared about sending me. Yeah, got a lot of business going here. I ran into a uh, Bai Li not too long ago either. Oh, you're so lucky. God, I miss Bai Li. Yeah, ran into him outside of Emerald. He was out there hunting. Let's go right. Uh, Bai Li doesn't like me, but I liked Bai Li. Why does he not like you? Oh, when I worked for him, I used to annoy him quite a bit. How? 
managed to talk to him. That annoys people. Finally, like things done in a particular way. That, uh, Let's he go taught right. me all I know when it comes to gun stuff. It's going right. The fact you call it gun stuff shows me it's not that much. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mister, I just carried 38 bullets on me. I just woke up with this attitude. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Coffee, uh, coffee is just a way of borrowing time in exchange for future diarrhea. <laughs> That's why you chew a little full pin gum to balance it out. Oh no, you just eat a bunch of eggs. Hot. You eat raw eggs? We're not. Are you raw a snake? Eggs. Can't go left. A snake? Oh my god, why are you bullying? Oh, what's that? Oh, oh. oh good heavens. <laughs> the formation. <laughs> I'm being influenced for it. <laughs> Apartment is crumbling in front of my eyes. I'm sorry, but all good heavens is working. Someone that cares about what we do here is not a It's a fucking cadaver. I'm gonna roll for you. <laughs> oh god, oh. I can't believe that there's my pickle today. That really got me. I don't think talking about tickling your pickle is uh, particularly professional either. I guess we're just not doing phrasing at all. <laughs> we're just choosing to not acknowledge it there, cadet. <clears throat> oh, understood. Had a munch on our eggs and tickle a pickle. <laughs> Whatever makes you die. <laughs> all right, we're going left. Yucky, Listen, yum. I like a boiled egg with some top of toast in the morning. Right? Wait, Clem, you like a boiled egg with what? Say six eggs. You eat six eggs every morning? I never said six. I don't know where you got that from. Out of there, sir. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't come here to be bullied. I can just go back to Rhodes. We're headed to Rhodes next, so we could uh, follow you on that one. I'll just go to Armadillo. Oh. Ben and Ollie, I'll come. Do you want to check the office here? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the... Stop by early at the Dumpy's Muskrats is kind of a, a hard to explain joke, but nobody was there. <laughs> Let's go left. And actually, I was planning on stopping at the office next, that's why we went this way. I need to give her these muskrats. Why are you giving the sheriff muskrats? Because she told me to hunt muskrats the other day and I couldn't find them. And I told her, I'm going to go find a muskrat and fill it up in the Sanity office. And she said, I'll either give you a promotion or fire you for the call. And I'm trying to hedge my bets. Get you some labels and you can, uh, I'll put them in the storage for you if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this door locked? Who it's locked the front door? Jesus. See, Clem, he bullies me too. We got the uh, three people. Uh, I figured. did I miss the market? Uh, no. Where was the market? It's the Momo market. Yeah, Blackwater. Oh, awesome. Okay. Right, we're gonna we're gonna meet in Blackwater. Let's try and I uh, figure we take the cadet as well. That makes a good five of us. That should be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't do water. Are you, uh, you going to stay here or are you going to come to Blackwater with us? I'll, I'll go to Blackwater. I and mean, I'll move you, can back. Just, you can just watch if you like. You could be the uh, the assailant. We're going to do it with Quakers. I figure that's a, that's a good spot. Y'all are going to shoot at me? No, we're not actually going to shoot. We could just. Uh, why can't we do this? To, we'll throw eggs at you. There we go. That works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Good and we'll do a naval assault crap. chucking eggs. I don't think I like this joke anymore. <laughs> Alright, one to one. Let's go to Rhodes. Oh, come on, it was excellent. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> that one was, uh... I'm sorry. Oh, that was low-hanging fruit there. Come on, Clementine. Can you not take a yolk? <laughs> I don't think she likes him. He's a hard boiled. <laughs> I like you, Cadet. I like you a lot. I like this one too. What'd you say your name was, Cadet? Ricard? Yes, sir. Ricard Valjean. Hey, Deputy Hutchinson. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. I think, uh, I think you've got a bright future in this department. Okay, Clementine, why would cheer you up? Mm. Can we go set the fire cadet to Van to Horn? Can we set fire to Van Horn? No. Yes, please. Oh, two votes, cadet. Matches. What about you? I'm all for it. Oh, look at that, three to one. Let's go set fire to Van Horn. <laughs> you know, there's innocent people living Van Horn too, right? Just trying to make their way in life. Yeah, we can give them advance notice. They want spies everywhere. You think they're not gonna tell Wallaby? I think there's good people there too. I like to help. Yeah, right, come on, let's pick up the pace a little bit. All right, let's pick it up uh, to a canter. I had to chase a fellow through Van Horn last week before he got on a boat to Guarma. He went through Van Horn? Yeah, he went, well, he did. I went around it. Going left? Going left. He was hoping you would follow him. I think that was the intent. We lost this trail just south of Van Horn. Uh, Tried to get some guidance, came back, went uh, went north, found his tracks in Ansberg, missed him by all of three minutes before he was on the boat. Some rotten luck. Yeah, uh, fellow was wanted for over 2,000 days. Is he still out there? As far as I can tell. But it was uh, it was Caden Creed we were hunting that day, Sheriff. Nice shot. Who is it that went? Sorry. Uh, Who was it? The one to Van Horn. Uh, the went to no, Kane Creed went through Van Horn to Ansberg to get oh, on the okay. boat to Guarma. Rider ahead. Howdy, oh, fella, passing you right. Uh, they're, they're good deputies. Who got shot in the ass again, though? Wait, who got who shot did? in the ass? Rockman. Oh, God. We got in a fight with the Woods Gang. Have y'all ever heard of the Woods Gang? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've uh, had a uh, pleasant. They're just a thorn in my side. They shot down Maple and they shot Rockman in the ass. That's I think uh, Mr. Lawson said something about that. Going left? Yeah. Rockman can sit in the saddle right now. I don't think he's going to be in the saddle for the next couple of days. I think we have another Redding on us. If he's shot in the ass, can't sit in the saddle. Slow for town. Slow for town. Sheriff, do we want to send a tip that we're headed to Blackwater for uh, yeah, that? Yeah, I, I, I got to send one uh, stating that's what they're trying to do. So. All right, I'll check in with the office and see if these guys want to join. Okay, perfect. Howdy, y'all. Hello. I'm just going to stay at the office. Anybody want to join us and go do some uh, no, fun little training with Sheriff Hart? The sheriff to go to the town I'm here. We're in the horse. Who's coming along? What kind of training? Naval training. What? Mm hmm. Is that my neighbor here in Rhodes I see? 
You and your training of dogs kept me up again last night. First Kiwi, and now Kutch is complaining? Come on, Cameron. Listen, I'm the sheriff of this town. I can make as much damn noise in my hotel room as I want. I mean, if you want me to be a proper functioning deputy, don't you want me to get a good night's sleep there, Sheriff? I wouldn't know, because your noise keeps me up at night as well, deputy. <laughs> you and Kiwi. Two of you are relentless with your noise. <laughs> Sorry, this aim. Uh huh. Just turn your back on me. <laughs> I have to. It's alright, he's done that to me a few times Excuse too. Excuse me? No, no, no. What do you mean you have to? Um, to teach you a lesson. I'm docking wages. Give me $4. You're on, you're on no. less than debt. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we're heading to Blackwater if anybody wants to join. Sheriff Hart says he's got a fun little training for naval yeah. warfare. Where is he doing it? Because uh, I, I think I think the plan is we're going to rendezvous in Quakers and or rendezvous in Blackwater and do it in Quakers. Right. I mean, that sounds good. Chronic, the 100 bits. Is there a limit on numbers, he said, or anything like that? No, just uh, is it wanna... naval training with just bits, or do you have ferries? Because I miss the ferries. I have no idea what he has planned. I mean, all that was said on the tip is that he was planning to do uh, naval training and do a uh, go to Rhodes. So, mm -hmm. I'm attempt that just came from Blackwater. So, <laughs> uh. it's good to see you, Wiley. It's good to see you too. You doing okay? Yeah. Fenrir, thank you for the follow. Chronic, thank you for the 100 bits. How are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing all right. A pinned biddy? Wait, do we have... Oh, we got pinned bits! Had a clam. Howdy, howdy. Had a sheriff. Uh, okay, so I sent the tip out. We're going to start in Blackwater in about 15 minutes, okay? All right. Ready? All right, can I... Uh, I might need to give a few people some money to get some votes. I've got money with me, Sheriff. I can yeah, help out. Me. Are you uh, you interested in trying it too? Yeah. Yep, me and Mr. Porter. Okay, we're headed to Blackwater. Uh, Cadet. Blackwater, please. I think we... Uh, you coming? Uh, who else is coming? I believe everyone on the mount up right now is coming. Yeah. But we're gonna be put over six, so uh, I'll fall back a little bit and I'll meet y'all there. I'll fall back and stay with Wiley so he's not uh, alone. Clementine, stand here. So. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be staying in road, so. Cameron, you coming? No, no, no you're more than enough. Well, no, we're trying to. More eyes elsewhere. Oh, all right, okay, okay. It's worth. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go, go, yeah. Go. I don't even feel a spot from one of these deputies. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's, tra it's trying. It's literally. Look, I'm gonna work on assaulting. Uh, Quake is cold by boat, mm -hmm. so if we ever need to assault anywhere sure. by water, we're trying. So, uh, All right. Okay. Rain kind of okay. feels nice. Right, listen, I'll be on arm, so we'll be okay. Okay. It's kind of humid earlier. Edie was there for that fight too. Oh! Holy oh, good shit! Good heavens. That was close. Okay, let's. Close. As we got a quite a few. Listen, uh, is, I, I need I'm one group. Duty. I'm just here for training. Let's uh, let's have. Three or four people swing by Valentine, go through Strawberry, and then meet us at Blackwater. That way, we're right. covering the county, yeah. and uh, the rest of us go straight to Blackwater. We're in two groups there, and I'll uh, I'll let you know what's going on. Okay? I'll take okay. the group that's swinging by Valentine. Okay. And All right. Let me have uh, three people behind Cameron, please. They're on duty. Well, that's just fine then. Hello. I'll take the Does cadets this... too, please. All right. Does this train and have ferries, or is it just the? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's gonna be boats. We're gonna work out what's best. Ferry's a boat. Hey, Cadet, you're in that group. Go. Oh. <laughs> hey, good. Are you joining us too? You want some training? No? Okay, you head on then. Watch out for dogs. Hold on, but did, did, did you just run over that dog? I don't think so. I got, I got you dust in my eye. Dog. 
Sheriff, it's a uh, it's a dock of pay for someone who runs over a dog, right? Yeah, that's uh, the yeah. dog tax. I got, I got something in my eye. I didn't know where it was There's going. Checking tax. Okay. As as payment. Oh, which which dog was it? I think it was Turkey Leg. Turkey 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 Leg is a mother. Well, how do you think Turkey Leg feels? Oh. It's just so dusty. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, but you need to keep going medically because you have dust in your eyes. It's all right. I'll survive. You should! Turkey Leg was my favorite! Oh, they Don't say twice if Turkey Leg is dead. Turkey Leg got up. Yeah! Still, Turkey Leg's gonna be hurt. Now, now I gotta give her extra food tonight before I go okay, to bed. She's a mother. I didn't realize there was training going on. Can I join? Oh, uh, yeah. We're moving to 122. I mean, the prospect of naval warfare, yes. Wait, here's the question. Wait, 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 Sheriff, can we wear trihorn? Can we wear those trichorns? Yes. Damn it. Next time. Next time, yeah. It's like one of those triangle hats that have like the three points. Captain Henderson wears them if you've had the pleasure of running into him, and uh, well, Kane Creed did, but we yoinked his uh, last week. You, wait, you yoinked his? You took his hat? <laughs> he left it at the slaughterhouse. We took it as evidence as we were hunting them, okay? Yes. It's like it's like the noise that, that, that makes me snatch something, right? So wait, heart dressed like a typical outlaw? No, 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 listen. So, uh, I, I met you outside of, like, you're black one, right? Uh huh, yep. Yeah. You were with someone, and I, I poked them up, and the elements forced on the uniform. Is that right? Uh, no. I was on the back of my Vin's boyfriend's horse. I remember having yeah, I got you up, brother. Me, Carter, and someone else. Yeah, it was me, Boone Morales, who was my Vin boyfriend. And then Lark. And you plucked me off of Boone's horse and put me on uh, Lark's horse. It was Lark. <laughs> Still see Lark. Yeah, occasionally. Um, Can we talk about how good this formation is right now, folks? All right, I'm just gonna throw this out here. I've seen a lot of formations, and this is one of the best ones I've seen in a long time. Well, I'd look behind me to check it out, but then the formation would get blocked. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. beautiful. That's, uh, that's right. Rider, Rider. Ooh. ooh, ooh, howdy. Ah, that, that was an impressive stop from that fella. <laughs>
Stagger it up. I'll take the rear rear. Using it up. I don't want to go to the water, no offense, but I don't want to drown and die because I'm not crazy. We literally go to shootouts every day, Clementine. <laughs> I, I, yeah, and I'd rather get in a hundred shootouts than go in the water once. Okay, we're going to need some people to get some folks in a minute as well. We'll see how many we got here. Also gonna need some people. Eh, they'll be fine for a minute. <clears throat> Do 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 do. And if you come, uh, I'll, I'll make sure everyone else is off duty so we're not causing too many issues. I just want to make sure the people know where people are, that's all. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have popcorn? <laughs> yes. The hell am I seeing? Everything. Happy dances, what are you talking about? Mm. Uh, Cameron. Cadet. Uh, who else went with that one? Bah. Wiley. Little old lady dance. <laughs> Don't make me sneeze. <laughs> do not do this to me. Achoo. Cameron tried to charge Achoo. me the, the dock in your pay <laughs> thing, that little joke, and I just said no. And then he just turned around. Oh. <laughs> He's just like, oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hey, there's a uh, ledge off that box there. I think that would be, that would be... Mm, just, just right oh. there. Yep. Well, you're stinky. Wow. Ouch. Ouch. That, that okay. One, that one cut. That cut. That cut deep. Mm. And the deepest blade that's ever been. Well, you know what they say. Yep. The first cut is the deepest. Hey, uh, look. Dalloway's got a little. Uh... 
the Maybe training she not. does about interrogations and things like that. Has anyone not done that here? I haven't done any training besides Kinetic. It's very, very good. I highly yeah, recommend I, I it. Might, uh, anyone that's not done that, I might get her to give that talk at some point as well, just so we're, we're maximizing everyone being on the ground. But we'll get going soon. I'm going to I'll give dish out some money. Oh, okay. Listen, you're my first group. I want you, uh, if you were tasked with assaulting uh, a naval port or somewhere uh, that is mainly on the water, I want you to go have a look at the boats available and I want you to start picking out what you think is best, okay? You can go talk about it, discuss it, work it out together. Clearly the rowboat. Oh, absolutely. Clearly the rowboat. Maybe I can hear you. Yeah, if, if you want to not slip off, then you have to stand on top is a problem, which is why with the big steamboats, you have to keep them stationary if you want to shoot. Yeah, but we're not also going to be able to get the big steamboats. Yeah, it, it'd be the... It, honestly, if it were me, I'd think the keel motor boat, because that's actually going to give you, you cover, cover that you yeah. can move around. That's um, what I mean. Yes, they're big. Yes, they're stationary. The yes, the driver gets exposed, but that would be the one I'd recommend to get. Oh, okay. uh, also, having there. had a couple of naval engagements Stay myself before. Shut up. Yeah. Are they, are they going to expect it? No. Are you going to be protected? No. Did Hart say to I'm go ahead and get play. one or two or no, three? No, 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 the Aussie no, no. it's a very no, specific thing. No. Oh no, no. don't, no, no, stop. Ah. <laughs> See, no. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm just training anymore. Oh, I'm back home. It's <laughs> no. beautiful. Oh, I love it. Yep. No, yes, <laughs> there yeah, no. Again. You Australians and your mannerisms. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Who, who, who has the Australian accent? I don't know accents. Know. Some dickhead. Uh, some, some guy named Keith. <laughs> that wasn't you, Edie. You came up with Oh, I gotta add that to my list. I gotta add it, it to my list. It is called Edie Dickhead. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, oh, okay. It's just outrageous. I Keith a dickhead, but Edie she came up with so a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Edie's now a dickhead. Pick, pick a number 1 through 35. Who? Oh. Why 1 through 35? That's really specific. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't 1 through 35, please. It, who, me? 28? Yeah. Either right. y'all. Edie, why, why are you telling me don't do it? Still don't do it. Do, no, it. do it! Please don't 20. do it. 20, let's um, see. No! What has five toes and not your foot? What? My foot! I'm gonna <laughs> God, you're worse than my ex-wife. It's so... Oh, okay. There's, she has an entire book of them. She has a book of them. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. To put it in I context, my ex-wife had a so. book of every single deputy's height in this department. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. It's just, what? It's just weird, some yeah. sort of weird fetish, I don't know. Wait, yeah. one more, one more. No, one more. I don't judge. Wait, give me a number. Two. Two? Let's see. <laughs> what do you call a fly without wings? A walk. A walk? <laughs> Oh, what do you call a factory that makes unsatisfactory products? Okay, uh, listen, let me throw some money at you. We you just can, said the we can test some of the boats out. Uh, who wants to get the first one? You oh, can start I looking. To... Fuck, I, put it wrong. Yeah, I already know which one I would get for a naval engagement, but. All right, let's have a look at that one. I've got plenty of money, Sheriff. I need to. I'll just stand by my canoe. No fucking canoe. You want... I'm telling you. You want me to go ahead and just buy it? A fucking canoe? Yeah, we'll need them anyway, so. Yep. yep. There, that should get in one boat. You wanna grab another one? Exactly. Which one are we getting? Okay. Whatever. Whichever one you uh, you discussed and thought was best. Okay. And that's when you first took it on. All Hold up. I think we're gonna have two groups.
see how many we got here. Okay, how are we doing? We got everyone here? I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. I could do this. Oh. <laughs> you might want to put that one on the other side of mine. Yeah, you might need a nap there, MJ. Nap. No nap, please. That's what you get for touching those shrooms in Louisiana. I'm sorry, what? Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm I'm pulling your leg, MJ. Go nap. Oh, uh, CJ, you might want to park that one on the other side. Do it. Do it. Did you say that, CJ? You might want to. Is that you? Yes. Yeah, you might want to oh, park that yeah. boat on the other side of, uh... Are we? Able to take Are we? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, if you're on my boat, it is a rule. Power uh, stances only. Oh, I'm going. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. I... Join this boat, there's no power stance. Hmm. I'm joking, by the way. Nope. I think the water's just doing the weird boat. shit. Ah, uh, the water okay, is doing yeah. some weird shit. It, it is. The water's never seen this many boats. I feel like it should have. You need to drink that. I know. I know. Like, you yeah, think like, so? You Wait, who's who's piloting that boat? No one. No one. The, the water. On the it's the current. Um, Don't even worry about oh. it. It's water. Oh, it's, it's probably the same um, thing that I saw with you guys. Nothing like, can the possibly the go wrong. Fucking heard it was. It was. I don't have to keep up with them. Yep. Nothing. Nothing is going wrong. Everything is fine. This is all good. Blitz and them had gathered into yep. right next to a house, and we we took a. Gosh, basically, there's a trail. There was left side. There's trees. Right Side, there's trees, they pushed the right side of trees right up on them, and the rest of us had pushed on the left side of the trees because it was better cover, and also you could tell that they were flanking us from the left, and we yep. were trying to watch them, but the area that they were in, they could get pushed from the front, left, right, every direction. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, hoy. Matey. Am I not always? Okay, ladies and gents, can everyone hear me before you get started? Aye, yep. Captain. All right, I, uh, I'm going to need six people to desi designate themselves to our on-duty group. Um, Clementine is going to stay back here in Blackwater. If there is an incident or something happens, uh, she's going to ride out to where we're going to be at Quakers Cove, and that group need to be able to get on their horses and go ASAP. Along with, if anyone starts some shit while they're there, they're going to be the group to response. If you'd like to be in that group, maybe put your hands up. Okay, here we got. Hold out your names. We got four. Hutch. Hutch. Bella. CJ. Uh, who's Actually, that on I'm the far boat over there? Dalloway. Dalloway, okay. Sorry, you stood in front of the steam. It's blowing all your face. Right, go talk to this guy. He's really good at. I'm checking the tip line. Yeah. I gotta get stuff anyway. <laughs> Make sure that we're stocked up and ready to go. general news at least 
just so that people are aware. Um, Howdy. Howdy, Hutch. I think if we were uh, if we were in a six, I guess we'd probably stick with two boats. Oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. um, I don't know. It's <laughs> nothing uh, good. Losing my mind. Just a little. Get, pilot your boat just a tad. You know, stop the wings doing that. Well, okay. All right. Let's uh, let's head to Quakers. I'm gonna let Clementine know. Uh, we need one boat less for us. Uh, the rest of you head there, but don't head too close. Should we send our horses uh, down to have Quakers ahead of time, Sheriff? Yeah, that's a good idea if you need. Go on. Oh, they're just watching the ready. Okay. We hope. We can stay high as we go by. Sure. Are we taking off? Rock. We have, we have Sands Captain. Sun goes up. All right. Sun. Yes. So let's I'm grab a The dead calls me sun. Let's try and split up uh, evenly as we can. Let's do three po people per boat. Hang on, I need your boat to get the Dalloway's boat. I'm, I'm just going to stay back. She's going. Go She's going. I will. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stay back. What the fuck? Whatever you just come out of that. No, I don't. <laughs> Going to Quakers, yeah? Yeah, Mr. Ricard. Get out of everyone's way. We're all right. You're a slippery duck. Not coming or not? Sheriff, you want to jump over? Yep. Boat bridge. Come on! Here we go. Go, go, go. Beautiful. <laughs> Pure. Nah, the the safest the part of the roar. boat is standing <laughs> on top. Like right on the top of this camera. Oh, right. camera. He said he was gonna stay. <laughs> going to Quakers Cove, heard. One, two! Full steam ahead. <laughs> this isn't a fucking train. Random tune just popped into my head. What tune? <laughs> 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 this is your final day. Wait, if I see what? Boater to starboard. Port <laughs> <laughs> side is the left side of the boat. Stagger, 
I thought we were supposed to stagger, Sheriff. That's a big bloody fish back there. That was a big fish. I were banking to starboard. Boaters ahead. Quaker's Cove, dead ahead. What could go wrong with this chat? Well. They were stopping back there. Didn't hear them. Nope, didn't hear a Oh, I could not go backwards. Close your eyes. No, that's worse. How's that worse? This is actually giving me some motion sickness. Holy shit. thinking about here what are we uh, what's our first steps that's a good point I mean we're on the water and not too much cover what could we use and stuff use the boats exactly so uh, I want you all to go and find yourself a position on the boat you think would uh, be a good place if you're getting close to somewhere or a town you're assaulting you might face uh, resistance Okay, up there. Up me? Come on, we're, get, we're getting cover. Getting cover. Okay. <coughs> well, I mean, that's one way to do it there, Clark. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, this, uh, uh, the perfect height to get your head behind. You can slam yourself right into the wall. You gotta make sure you, uh, not thinking too aggressive though. You don't want to take uh, take someone else's head off. Should be able to get two people against this back part. If you got a third, they can crouch behind. Everyone found your position. Mm -hmm. And then if you uh, you pop yourself up, you got a good firing position. Most important thing is uh, the uh, the person on the 
on steering, they've, uh, they're their biggest risk. You gotta keep them safe, so we're not gonna hang it around too long. Now, when you got two boats, I think you wanna put people uh, either side, okay? You got uh, north and west of the port you're assaulting. Put pe uh, group of three on one side, group of three on the other. You got two groups, they're sandwiched in the middle. So, uh, what we're gonna do? For now, as we got. Oh. Well. Uh, okay, so important. We're good. Important prior. <laughs> Share? What? Somebody clip that, please. Huh. Someone on the horizon to the north. Rip. I don't know who that is. Mm. That's not Rip. No, it's not. Huh. No, that could be Rip. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I don't know if you heard any of that. I, I talked about Mm. Yes. Oh. Oh. I'm going up here at the minute for safety reasons. You're going to hit the right side of the port. Boat to the left. You're going to hit the left side, and we're going to hit the middle, okay? Heard. As we make land, find yourself cover, get there, look for the other groups, start pushing in, clearing buildings, okay? Heads up, we have an onlooker to the north watching what we do. All right. On the bridge. Give him a show then. Let's go. All right, let's go. Saints, Saints crossing. Let's go. Full steam. Oh, there's a robo dead ahead. Ideally, have your weapons unloaded just in case. Mm hmm. They're following. I reckon it's one of us. I mean, oh, 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 we lost an MJ. Oh. It's okay. Just jump down to the store. Yes. I got drifted. Oh, wow, I jumped really high then. Okay. Here we go. Slipper there. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. I'm pretty fucking proud of everyone today. How uh, how did everyone feel that went? Apart from all the fucking malarkey beforehand. Beautiful. And, uh, my boat could have been a little bit better, but that's on me. Uh, the boat that went left side, you got yourself right round nicely. Uh, this looks like a good place to put it. Well, did, I mean, uh, the people, uh, the people steering. Did you feel like uh, people on your boat waited for you? Did they give you a chance to uh, get yourself set, or did they just run off without you? No, they did. They, oh, they gave they us a chance. That's perfect. That's uh, that's what we want to know. Now, uh, let me let me hear your thoughts, okay? What uh, what did you all think? Anything? Anyone think anywhere we could be better? Or anything we could improve? Out of way, I'll come to you last, okay? I think when it uh, comes to this, uh, the the idea with naval combat, if uh, it can't be, is to get to land. Um, these things are are good for you know unorthodox uh, landings and all that, but if possible, it should be used as a surprise tactic, on not just. Uh, Sit there, especially with a friendly squad weak. tactic. You can shoot that down, then you're just in the water. And, well, <laughs> we're yeah. outside that very good. We should do this in Van Horde sometime. Yep. 
Jesus Christ. Listen, I, 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 I can't, I can't speak about where, uh, where we might need to use this, but uh, it's always, yeah. it's always best to have a skill set in your pocket. Okay, anyone else? I'm gonna take that lot house. Is that They're all right? Peeking at us. Oh yeah, let them, let them look. They're probably making their day. Listen, if they want to come see us, they can. No need to let anyone know. Anything else or anything other? Just let them guess. Listen, if they Are go you fucking. Are uh, right now? Yes, I am. You dress for the occasion. I applaud you, man. Yes. It's amazing. Broken <laughs> <laughs> deputies. I'm sorry. Sheriff's asking the question. Okay, yeah. Anyone else? Is there nothing to add? Anything you might change? I think one thing I would do is have one boat uh, pepper from distance. Uh, that way we can try to help uh, clear a little bit of a way for the landing group. That's, so uh, that's my that's my next. But hold on to that because I got I want to go into that next. <laughs> That'd be the one thing I'd have changed from what we did, but that's just me. Okay, if no one else has got any Dalloway, I know you've uh, you worked on the Dall Dalloway's done this before, so uh, I, I wanted to come to her last because I know she's got some good ideas. Uh, what I would say is, for example, because we can't really um, play out the scenario where some of us are down, but in the moment, some people might be shot before we reach the shore. If that's the case and you're on the boat with the most casualties, I would say pull the boat in front of the others as extra cover to give yourself time to get back with everybody else. If, if it's safe to do so, at least careen it to the side um, in front of the other boats. Uh, Yoss, you good there? Yeah. Uh, other than that, I mean, everyone moves swiftly, and considering how many people, it wasn't that chaotic. This communication goes a long way, so everyone did that. Perfect. Okay, anyone else before I, I move on to the slightly the next part? Okay, uh, next part is uh, a more uh, aqua terror approach, okay? Aqua is in water, terror is in land, so uh, all out... Maybe it has its uh, it has its benefits. It's all surprise, especially if it's dark and foggy. You can use that to your advantage. But uh, I also like the idea of having a combined force. Have uh, three assaulting by land, uh, or more potentially on your group. And then you have another group on the boat. What my personal preference would be was the uh, armed force. They puts themselves in position first. Especially if it's somewhere people are dug in, so they're gonna have eyes on them right away. Um, so you get yourself up there immediately. Whoever you're you're looking to take in, they turn their back to the water, right? So their focus is heavily uh, heavily on the people who are hopefully fortified up in the hills, looking down upon. Then you get a boat in the back, maybe something a bit smaller and quicker. Uh, we've only got the uh, the bigger boats for now, but to be honest, these have got more cover, so I think they're probably better anyway. And then the, the boat slips in, and they start uh, start putting in cover and fire from the uh, from the water, which immediately they have to turn their backs, which gives the people on the land a bit more opportunity to push in further and cement. And then what's going to happen? They're going to be caught in a big old fucking sandwich. As long as we trust our shooters on the boat, as long as they got enough cover, uh, it gives everyone else an extra bit of chance. This might be useful on our... our uh, assaults with higher numbers keeps uh it, it means you're not split up too much i don't like uh, all it takes is one person to take a stray bullet on the land and things go wrong quick but you want to try a little bit of, of that having a group on the land group on the water sure. okay i take that as a yes so mm -hmm. the, the way we're going to do this uh we'll have one boat on the water what i want whoever's going to pilot it i want you to turn it to the side okay so the boat is, uh, imagine it had a bunch of fucking cannons on the side. Point them at the boat and you're going to stand the other side. You're going to be crouched behind trying to use the cover and uh, aiming down at the people here, okay? Uh, it's going to take a little bit of communication. Maybe uh, people up on the, the cliffs who are going to be our assaulting force, maybe they give a wave or something when they're ready to go. Then we, uh, we try riding in. All right, any questions before we uh, have a go at this? Yes, sir. No questions. Okay, perfect. Um, how many we got? Okay, let's have a group. I don't want to put more than four on a boat. Let me have four people on a boat. Uh, Dalloway, you mind taking... Uh, I'll let you take three people with you. All right. Um, who are the newest folks? 
That would be oh, me. Me as well. I'll take three of the new ways. All right. This one. Oh, this recall. one. And yeah. Okay, that's three. So you want us um, to do a naval attack on the shore? Yes. Well, this you're. So you're you're using the gun as a, a shooting platform, okay? So you're uh, you parked up sideways. Oh wait, I think I know who that was on the cliff. Can't actually fly, but it's just it's just you used to get it as synced in. So put yourself a little out of the way just so you can see us. We give the wave. We move forward mm -hmm. a little bit. Then you move forward, and then we move forward. Okay. All right. All right, everyone else will leave for now. I know this is quick, but I, I don't like these trainings to go on too long. Um, does, any, does everyone kind of know what they're doing? Yep. Okay, perfect. No. Can I get a refresher? We're going to assault from the... Imagine we're just assaulting from... Uh, here from from the cliffs okay we put our horses mm -hmm. down we're gonna come up top we're gonna scout out the same way we would we're gonna give a signal to our boat friends uh hopefully anyone in here would have turned their eyes to us and uh as soon as uh, as soon as they uh the boat gets there hopefully the people turn around mm -hmm. and then you we we push on forward keeping an eye trying to close them in you know Pincher, pincer, whatever the hell yeah, that's it. You know what? Let me go fucking be a bad guy, okay? <laughs> you, you, you can keep an eye on me. You uh, you move in on me. So I, I want you in, like, you know how to fucking assault a place. Get yourself in position. Make sure the boat sees you uh, when you're ready. If you haven't, make sure you unload your weapons just in case. We're gonna take Quaker's Cove. <laughs> this could be so room. much nicer. It could be decorated so much better. Is that why? Why we're doing this? Yes. Push woogies. What the fuck did you just say? Don't worry about it. I'm not sure if there's getting right, farther away. I think I they're, mean, fighting they're, the, they're, they're fighting the current. Yeah, they're very close. Mm. I think he's just letting them know that he's going to be there. Yeah. So they don't go. <laughs> Surprise, Sheriff. <laughs> surprise sheriff <laughs> and suddenly surprise sheriff <laughs> this is also going to be a very good example of why Quaker's Cove is a terrible place to hold up because mm -hmm. we're going to find him very quickly yeah, yeah there's not really many places for him to hide there's literally free if he's <laughs> lucky Fuse on what's happening. Looks like people are getting off the boat. Uh, Maybe the boat's having issues? Bamboozled. Uh, it bad looks bad like, bad yeah, bad it looks like so. Oh, the bad guy is. Uh, good work, everybody. Well done. Very good. Success. We did right, where's Dalloway? Oh, there she is. We okay? The uh, the tides are too rough. Things are getting real bad. And nearly lost a cadet, so we're, oh, no. we're gonna call it there. Okay, I don't want to. Okay. Oh, okay. Again, perfect seas. example why these should be used for landing, yeah. and that's pretty much it. Let, oh, let's God. be fair. It's it's best we know this, right? Rather than us trying this and fucking getting uh, getting Does hurt. Anyone have food for CJ yeah, before I, she I, starves I to death? Lemons. Yeah, I do. I do. I've got Here. some. Uh, I have, down. Uh, you have five. So I think helpful. I need to take a nap. Lemons Were you trying to get me food? It's just oh, I'm, uh, wonderful. Maybe I should uh, go it's adjust myself. If I had yeah, five oranges, would that not count as food? All right, I'm good. Look, thank there you. you. Go. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. 
All right, uh, let's well, chair down yeah, then. Well, when Those boats the only look one like they're scurvy. just uh, got a mind of their own. Okay, listen, uh, mm -hmm. thank you for being here. Like I said, it's, it's oh, you all, are not uh, eating a lemon. Oh, watch out! I'll learn an excuse for everyone. All right, now uh, Dalloway here's got a uh, she's got a seminar she likes to give on interrogation. I highly, I, I've attended it myself. I highly recommend mm -hmm. that uh, anyone who's not done it uh, does it. It's towards a certification, right? So okay. how it works is I give the lecture. It's approximately 20 minutes long. Then when you've made an arrest, you come to me or Thorn. Uh, if it's a good enough arrest that merits an interview, we'll basically observe and certify you that way. Okay, perfect. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, you okay to do that in Blackwater? Yeah, I can do that. That's where we're here. All right, perfect. Let's, a uh, bunch of people sent their horses here. Maybe uh, maybe we get ourselves together. Unless anyone fancies taking a boat back. You know what? Fuck you all. I'm gonna take a boat back. Who wants to ride with me? I'm gonna go take. Oh, I'm tempted to take a boat. You know what? I'm just gonna take a boat. Go to Blackwater. Last one there's rotten egg. Watch out, the tide's here, the fucking, I think there's a crack of... Oh god. Hang on. Oh no. We okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm just... I'm gonna close my eyes, I think. You're not seasick, are you, Sheriff? Thank you all for coming. I appreciate you all anyway, and I'm glad no one drowned. Yet. Yes. No one's likely drowned this year. Oh, yes. <laughs> Seems to be like the moment we're lo uh, moving, it's fine. It's the moment we stop that that's where nightmares begin. Where the crack and hungers. That's, so, Sheriff, if I may throw an opinion, having been part of a naval engagement before, um... It might be better if we're gonna do a pincer attack like that to have the sea folks be the the flare, as it were, or the the signal. Yeah, yeah, that, that, makes um, sense. that way they roll up and immediately just start opening fire, and then uh, they draw the attention for everyone on the cliffs just come down and go nuts. And then yeah. eventually they land and join in. Yeah, we'll uh, keep that on. We'll discuss that when we get back. Okay. Wow. It, it is genuine to know you stop for too long and your boats get rocked up and down left, right, and center. Yep. That way it just keeps it continual movement and once you're on the boat and people are moving and shooting it's a whole nother thing or the boat could even stay mobile. But that's also contingent on uh, whoever's piloting it because they are wide open to uh, be pot shot from the land. Yeah, that's uh, a guy still there. He's a sad sea based moonshine. Can you imagine if that was actually a thing? I think we'd have to set up the Saints Crossing Naval Department at that point. Don't tell me. 
I, I, I mean, all it took was me to be called Admiral, and I'm down. <laughs> Here's a good way to get a view on other places. Uh, Riders coming in hot for us. I think he's trying to be the white knight to our saving or something like that. It's gonna get so dirty so quickly. Listen, people wearing colors for different reasons. Park him over here, park him over here! Don't forget to reload your weapons, Uh. Oh no. No. What's up? Okay. Oh, hello, how, how's it going, Harry? You okay? Yeah, I'm real good, thanks. Well, I got shot yesterday, but apart from that, yeah, I'm doing great. Sorry to hear that. You uh, you seen a doctor? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause uh, apparently, packing a wound full of uh, pomade is not the way is that to uh, do it. No. That's what I was told. She was very no. unhappy. No, that's no. Oh God. I didn't have time to bleed. You mean Van Horn? No. Okay, well, you, unfortunately, you just miss, missed a bit of training. We did. We uh, we learned some things, but we we got some positives too. Yeah, I heard. Uh, what, what's this for, Sheriff? It's just uh, like I said. We've uh, who? With all the locations we got, we got a town uh, right in the outskirts of the water. If anything ever happens, I. Uh, I want to say we at least know Arthur something. Forrester? We know a lot more today. It's not, I'm not planning anything. Don't panic. Uh, okay, uh, I get everyone close for a second. We'll just I'm have a little doing chat good. and uh, we'll disperse. You need to talk? Hey, uh, uh. myself, Forrester, and uh, Cadet Crown, we'll be going to uh, St. Denis. Okay, perfect. You, you want any be more? Be safe, y'all. Uh, uh, I mean, we're not responding to anything, but if anyone wants to come along, um. Well, listen, I, I, I just, I, I want to say uh, a couple of words and then uh, people will be ready. Okay, real quick, folks, while I got you all here, thank you very much for uh, attending. I know uh, I know we learned a lot. Um, it seems to be the main issues uh, are when, we, uh, when we're still, okay? So if, uh, I don't think it rules out uh, water assaults at all. I just think when it's going to happen, when you get on that boat, you know... Uh, there's no hanging around, okay? I don't think the there's too much of an option to sit on a boat and, and pepper the shore. I think if you're assaulting by uh, water, you got to kind of get in there, get on land as quick as you can. Uh, Hutchinson said uh, said pretty much straight that. Any more you wanted to add, Hutch, with your thoughts? Uh, another good thing we can do is get boats uh, on land quickly, but also uh, when starting the assault, the boat could also be the uh, the signal. Have them just come in and draw the attention of everyone in whatever town we do assault. Uh, and that way the folks in the hills at that point can get up and start running into town and catch them off guard that way. Uh, and then once they turn around to try to defend that, the boat just lands and joins in. Uh, so there's definitely a couple different ways that that could be used uh, to advantage or distraction, throw a feint, stuff like that. Okay, Harry, you had uh, you put your hand up. You gotta. So yeah. hear me out, right? What if we had uh, one of those large boats, you know, that the uh, transit have, right? What if we took one of those as sort of like the the mothership, right? <laughs> uh, and on top of it, we got deputies with cannons and Gatling guns laying down, covering fire for the landing boats that are trying to get to land. They're all worried about dodging cannonballs and then Gatling guns, uh, and then the rest of you can get to land. I, I did talk with Weller. Um, I don't know about cans and Gatling guns, but they apparently are working on uh, getting those boats up and ready to be working with us. I'm sure we can talk to the army and get something arranged. The, the only thing I'd say, it depends on the location. Obviously, there's, there's Manhorn, but you got innocent people that live there, too. you got to think about collateral yes, damage. Yes, yes, of course. Absolutely. Uh, that's that's a very good point. Okay, listen, thank you. I'm, 
I'm amazed at how many people turned out and were willing to listen. You all impeccably behaved. Now, uh, Dalloway here is going to do her uh, interrogation seminar. I highly recommend anyone else uh, make sure they listen to this. Uh, it helps towards the certification and uh, it gives you skills. I, I sat through it myself. I learned a lot. So if that's something you want, uh, just head over to Dalloway now. Uh, and if not, we got a patrol going to send me. Thank you very much, folks. And uh, anything you need, let us know. Uh, give me three minutes and I'll do it. If you want to sit down at one of the tables over there. Alright, chat. I gotta run to the restroom. So, I'm gonna do that. And then we're probably just gonna go do stuff, because... Hutch does not have interest in the seminars at the moment, but that's just him. I'll be back.
All right, I'm back. Oh, feel a lot better, chat. Got a drink, got a water re up, got a good stretch, turned on my heat because it is actually rather cold in here today. Come on, let's, let's go. I don't even feel like me right now. God damn it. I ran out of uh, we Got room for one more? Stu, if that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Grab me one, please. Vegetarian. Me Wait, too, I'm sorry. Man. Do y'all have room for one more? No, I think, uh, uh, no, we, I think we just did. What? Full what? Right, fine. Am, am I on? Are me Cameron on? Thank you for the sub eight There's months in a row. Harry got our hopes up for nothing, Sheriff. That, a, that is right. Mary, Oglethorpe is in town looking for you. He says he wants to talk to you about something important. All right. Can you tell him to give me 15? I'm in the middle of he a He might be going uh, back to ranch, he said. Okay. All right, chat. You know what? I think I think we're going to Valentine. I'm gonna say, hey, son. <laughs> Ash, hello. How are you, friend? Hope you're well. Ten ton ganger in Ansburg. Damn. something you need uh just reach out bravo henrietta 240 is typically where i ref uh, receive my mail all right uh, so i want you to write that down i yeah, didn't bring my, my book yeah of course reach out you know i'm uh typically ride solo as i want to do but uh we're looking for opportunity wherever opportunity might present itself Watch the dog. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Hello. Hello sir. Howdy. Yeah. Yeah. A strange option for you. Go on an outing with the asshole. Oh. No, he smells good. Hey. Mm. No, that ain't an enemy. I didn't say he was an enemy. Oh, I didn't. Oh, it, he has a key. Um. Can I take a knife with me just in case. <laughs> Two. Uh. <laughs> All right, friend, easy. All right, chat, we're gonna head to Valentine. As much as I would love to stay for an interrogation lecture, Hutch is not in a, like, I want to do this mindset, so we're not gonna bother, because he very much wouldn't. Oh, hold this. Damn. Nice.
Uh oh, that took a minute to load in. I hope I'm not having graphics issues again, chat. I'd hate to have to do a full restart right now. Okay, nope, I think we're good. So we got a group in St. Denis, we have a group headed to Ansburg, I'm headed to Valentine, and we got a handful in Blackwater. So that'll be good. I thought that deer was a wolf there for a second. I was like, oh, wait, why do we have day wolves? Oh. I can't tell where the trail I normally take is. Nope, I ain't there. Well, shit, chat. I got lost in the fucking fog. <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right, there's another way I can go. Just do the full circle round, hit the bridge. Sharp right afterwards.
Eastern Grizzlies. We've got Rangers responding to that. We made it to Valentine. Clem went there. Do 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 do. Ten ton of black water. Blackwater, hunting files for charity by Farlands. Oh, the Northwest Gang. <laughs> well, that's an interesting turn of events. was the passing of chick yeah it was a death um died in the line of duty he was murdered by a vivian i think hang on where is it yeah didn't even know that happened so like i saw that this morning i was like oh shit okay well chick's down um Had to fix it on the hazard. <laughs> nice. Okay, some working women had one stolen from. I hadn't seen Chick Matthews in months either, so... Sammy Hartman. No, not Sammy. Good day. All right. New accident missing persons. Interesting. Have you seen Cadet Valjean? Who? Cadet Valjean. I. Uh, don't recognize the name. Uh, I know I spent a good chunk of the day with Cadet Ricard. Ricard. That might be him. Where? Where? Where is it? Last I saw him, he was in Blackwater. As to where I he's at now, I'm not sure. Appreciate that. Yep. Look after yourself. Hey, you too. Alright, Sadie's on duty heading to Blackwater. We're here. Cool. We'll walk around Valentine. You got the yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's the rumor. 
rooster. What are the pixidents? Oh, that's been a thing. Um, so it's actually a case that I'm part of. Uh, we are second on this case uh, behind Keith. So the pixidents have been somebody's basically been pig rustling out of flat neck. We know who it is. Uh, taking them and then syringing blood. Well, that took a turn. It took an interesting turn today. I'm not going to say exactly what. But I will say that it turned into um, a very big meta unlock that I was not expecting to get this morning from Keith and from Briggs. So much so that if I see anything more on it, I also now need to notify Sheriff Hart. Yeah, I'm meta guarding it right now because it'd be a really cool thing. Oh, it's Jaeger. Out of Jaeger. How are you today? Today. Not too bad, I want to show. Yeah, not too bad. Just had a nice little uh, naval training exercise with Sheriff Hart. Oh, it was a naval training. There was a lot of people mm -hmm. attending that. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was short and sweet. A little bit of, uh, little bit of craziness, you know, expected with boats, but all in all, not too bad. Stuff to consider for future attempts at uh, coastal towns. I mean, there's a few prominent towns that are harbors, right? So it's a smart idea to train mm -hmm. people in naval skills, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that we're going to be having an admiral or something admit or, admit or sheriffs in the future? Hart wants to be an admiral, that's for damn sure. There we go. When it's his birthday, we can all gift him a pirate hat. <laughs> Tricorn. Make him look like fucking uh, Captain Henderson or like goddamn uh, Kane Creed at that point. I mean, <laughs> who cares? Right? You can just, you know, like use a different color, maybe like a white one, you know? Yeah, maybe. Maybe some shoulder pieces and a gold no. and shiny. No, he would need a black tricorn if we're going to do that. If, if you're going to give him gold bars on the shoulders, he's got to have a black tricorn. I don't know, like, what does, uh, what does the Navy, is uh, like, specific colors that they've been using? I think admirals and stuff like that, are they blue? Or what are they using in America? I'm not familiar with that. I don't know. You're, telling, you're asking me like I'm a military guy. I don't know shit. I mean, I could tell you the colors that they have in the German military, so, like, you know, like, I thought maybe you know from here. Yeah, we're not German, though. so many on duty today we have folks in pretty much every town except for strawberry and we got a roman patrol going right now and a hunting party Roman patrol is it wiley bricks and the others that are booming now yeah uh they're coming from well they're heading to blackwater they're gonna be passing through emerald and in here yeah so they're basically the same route that i took okay yeah but they're going to blackwater after here you got us here. I uh, got a handful in Blackwater, handful in Rhodes. Got a group up in Annensburg uh, hunting 10-ton gang right now. 
Hmm. Yeah, a few of them are very wanted, yeah. Time for my daily bathhouse harassment. After I check myself in here. <laughs> what do you mean daily bathhouse harassment? What are you getting into what? these days? <laughs> you know, every time you approach them, you know, like and pretend that they have done something, they always have let something slip that they did something, you know? So yeah, I usually go. go down there just randomly use my Jeff and stuff like that. Playing a bit of psychological warfare with the bathhouse, huh? I mean, they basically tell me everything anyway, so I don't really have to. It's it's fun though. It's good for uh, <laughs> it's good for keeping up the relationship, you know. Yeah, that's cool. From what I've seen, someone blew up the bathhouse yesterday, so I'm gonna blame Lily for it. Let's see what she has to say. Don't do that to poor Lily. <laughs> she can handle it. It's fine. Christ, you're gonna make She's the girl so cry. No, if you're really if you really want to tease her, then you have to talk about her boyfriend being missing for a month. That's uh, that's a real horrible thing. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do that given what's happened to me. Oh shit! Sorry, I have to think about that. That's all right. Okay, let me just what the what the fuck? Partner, Lily. Yeah, it's not really the news I hoped for. Oh. Okay. Hi. How do y'all? What is that? What's that? What? That the man? doorman? Oh, it's um, cabbage. He bought, he wanted to buy a welcome mat from the bookstore in Van Horn, but they keep him the wrong one. You telling but me they he... said they don't do returns or nothing. He, he went to Van Horn again? Mm, I think so. Oh my god. <sighs> and he got scammed at the same time. So, Wait, yeah. is that who Does I think it is, chat? And, everything, so he lost the money. and you blew up the bathhouse as well. Lily, what are you doing these days? <laughs> they forced me to. They have me come fun. Okay, I'm just kidding, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so do we have to expect any any more trouble regarding him going to Van, Van Horn because of, of the rug? Or is that solved now? I want to see. No, but with Mr. Cabbage, anything goes. You know, he's all about the principle and all that, so... Maybe it will be that he'll try and go back and, and get the, the proper one, the proper map. <laughs> proper welcome map. I, I, I don't think Pella has the issue with that map. <laughs> okay. Okay, anything else happened? You alright? After what happened yesterday? You not harmed anything, anything regarding Mama, everyone okay? Ricky, yeah. Elijah, everyone fine? Yeah, you're okay. Well, Elijah, he, he's off the bathhouse. Hmm? He, he's, he's gone, he's off the bathhouse. He's not with us anymore. Where, where did he go? I mean, he no, was Wesley. in... And then Horn, the dead end gang. Okay. There's nothing to worry about you guys regarding that? Is there any, any trouble regarding that in the future? Out of the way. <sighs> That's alright, you don't have to tell me, it's fine. <sighs> alright, uh, yeah. I uh I don't want to bother you too much about that, so uh you know sorry if I bring something up that you know like you've already bothered. But if you want to talk about it, you know, just uh, come up the porch. As always, we can like have a little chit chat, maybe lighten your mood a little bit. It doesn't have to be about these topics, right? So if you're if you're lonely, just come around, we can have a little chat. Yep, I would appreciate that. Okay. Mm. 
we're gonna, we're gonna leave you to the end, so, uh, yeah. If something comes up, don't hesitate to come to us, okay? Okay. Thank you. Right. You guys stay safe, then. Bye. Is that who I think it is back there with her? Uh, I don't know her. Okay. I need to stop at the bank. Chat, we're rich. Because that sounded like someone I've run into a while back that I know. And it's like also the person who shot my ex-wife, if that's it, is who I think it is. Is that Solace? Like, that's the only one that comes to mind right oh, now. Okay. She... That's not Lady. Oh well, at least we got at least we got some information. Elijah left the bathhouse and has been horn. So when we see him in town, we can do expect him maybe to feed him information, shit like that. That's good to know. Let me change that file immediately. Ugh. What's been going on? Yeah, really, a whole lot of nothing. A few shine runs here. Did some naval training earlier with Hart. Oh, yeah, that's what I saw was, on yeah, that Ten-ton gang was in Ansberg. Okay. I guess the uh, activity is just beginning. Yeah. Oh, chat, my back is starting to hurt. Good. You doing good? I'm fine. That's not a very convincing. You're really fine though. Are you I mean, actually? Everything, everything I really did this week, you know, I had a lazy week. All I really did was spy on Italians. So I'm giving myself a little breather by changing town every now and then. So. Yeah, that might be smart. Yeah, I got a few of the fingerprints by ripping down their process and waiting for them to put on new ones. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No matches okay, with going. anything yet, though. So. Oh no. Well, I think there's quite a few that we still don't have their fingerprints for, right? I mean, there's at least four or five people I suspect being associates that we do not have any fingerprint sets from. Mm. So, Wait, uh, what? if. Uh, Moretti family, it's the Chenzo family, they have mm. so many new faces. We don't even have names for most of them. So what I did is I started a file to investigate them, find out who the associates are, um, tricking them into, you know, like getting their fingerprints one by one. So if they do more than the shootout they had with Nordwest Gang like a few weeks ago, uh, we can hopefully match a few fingerprints that are enough evidence for us to bring them into the office for questioning and get their real print sets. So yeah. That might be a good idea. Just need one or two matches of fingerprints, and we have enough evidence, according to Cameron and Monet, that we can just drag them all into office and get their fingerprint sets under the suspicion wanted for questioning and shit like that. Because hmm. they are sneaky. I think there might be still some cases that might connect some of them that I don't even think we know who they are. Probably. So. So I have seen plenty of them going around with wagons in the most ridiculous areas. Like I have them going um, around Mount Hagen with wagons and shit like that um, when we were looking for moonshiners. So I do expect them to do a little bit of side business in that area as well. So um, I hope one of these days we maybe, you know, grab a few of them doing moonshine. That would be the, yeah. the easiest way to get fingerprints from them. Mm -hmm. Are you sure they have to be caught eventually? No, sparkles! No! Do that sort of thing. I've seen them very early, and the issue is that I can't really stop them. With this too. That's big sad. Maybe do a full PC restart with drivers too. Yeah. Stop them, you know what I mean? 
Yeah, I think it's but it's kind of like around like 8 a.m. or something. So. Oh, okay. 8 a.m., 9 a.m., you know, those times where they I didn't know they were awake that early. Holy smokes. When I usually run into them, it's like later than that. I don't yeah, know. A few of them. A few of them. I mean, Interesting. I'll be honest. Like, if you if you go up from uh, from Hangin' Dog up to Mount fucking, fucking Hagen, you, you go through the snow, and all of a sudden there's a four horse carriage coming towards you. <laughs> yeah. People are you know, something's yeah. going on. Yeah. Sorry, what did you oh, say? Maybe that? it might be worth, I don't know, um, Maybe like a couple of days if we know like that they are have a routine of doing that. that maybe gonna group together, maybe, Rob. Could be a few. To see, you know. Especially if you have seen them at that time with multiple folk. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I mean it feels like all of them, you know, like are very mobile mobile with uh carriages. Mm -hmm. Um, but they don't even make an effort of changing outfits or anything. Uh, My God. You know, like, they make it really fucking obvious. They are very confident and not getting stopped, I guess. Mm. So I don't know. I think I mean, that might I said, be it. I, yeah, I mean, as I said right now, you know, like my priority is getting good descriptions of them in case, you know, like they do ride around. So mm -hmm. I can point out who they are when they drive carriages and shit like that. Mm -hmm. um, because that's honest here. If you just, you know, I've seen people in suits. Uh, well, congratulations. That's uh, half the population of saint -Denis. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so basically, you know, like people like uh, Alfonso Declan, who's running the the blue uh, the blue pearl, uh, like reddish purple suit, for example, right? Very distinguish distinguishable. Mm -hmm. Black beard, black short hair, you know, like a little bit Dark more hair. detail. More descriptions, yeah. Especially mm -hmm. if, you know, people dress similarly. But harder to differentiate if it's all the same description. Mm -hmm. I mean, quite frankly, I think we are right now at the fucking worst case scenario regarding the, the bars in Saint Denis. I think his sister Natalia Declan, I don't know if it is, is now. If you aren't, make sure you're talking quiet. I, I am, yeah, I am. Um, okay. She is that... now. That guy just came out of the saloon, hopped on his horse, walked down the street, turned around, walked to, uh, walked back to the bank. Yeah, no, no, I, uh, I, I had my voice down. Okay. Yeah, me too. I was just uh, Yeah, but she apparently has been hanging behind the bar in, in Saint Denis as well. Uh, in Wait, the so she's related to them? Which, if I think they are brother and sister. Um, Natalia, I think it is, and uh, Alfonso. As I said, right, one is running in the blue pearl, the other one is running to be still. Which is the worst wow. case scenario, right? I yeah. mean, as suspicious as Kitty was, she was at the same time a fucking informant Lucho. for Monet and yeah. Chevalier. But oh. now, if there's Italians running it again, it's completely out of grasp for us, which is really, really bad. Yeah. I wish that was just maybe like somebody else who wasn't affiliated with anybody running it. Like, that would have been uh, interesting. Hmm. It might be easier to get information, Rob. I think everything in Saint Denis is just just going against what what was planned for us. From what I understand, Chevalier mm -hmm. thought about bringing in uh, people into the gun store, and boom, Taipan is back. From what I have seen, <laughs> so yeah. Yep. So how that goes? Oh, they are back. I don't <laughs> think I've heard anything about that group really. Like yeah. nothing really works. I mean. Taipan is a special kind of breed from what I've been reading, from what I've been seeing regarding them. Uh... Howdy all. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. How was your nap, Briggs? That was really good, actually, thank you. Yeah, good. Feel the rest of the miracle. That's good, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, makes nice change. Has everything been okay since, sir? Yeah, uh, things have been, uh... It's been relatively quiet and calm. Nice. That's good. Yep. Missed uh, a little bit of chaos. Uh, Sheriff Hart decided to take a bunch of us and do naval warfare training. Ah, uh, yeah, I saw that on the tabling. <laughs> Who was it? It's about as chaotic as you expect with three boats. Yeah, man. But all in all, it wasn't too terribly bad. Oh, that's good.
Granton is called out sick. Wait, what? Granton's going off, dude. He's not going away. Mm. Don't worry. He's going to lay his head down. Can't you want to do patrol? Got an extra slot now. Yeah, where are you guys heading off to? I'm uh, going to hit Strawberry and, um, you know, Black War. Go through Big Bailey. Just a general patrol. Bitch, yeah, I sure need to be steady and uh, discuss training stuff. Uh, why are you saluting? General patrol. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> You'd be off in front of Maybe I shouldn't have maps anymore. I get too risk and I start making jokes. Go join them for patrol. You two take it easy. Yeah. You two, you have a good one. Howdy, Rangers. And if not, we're a meal somewhere in the middle, I'm sure. Back to cleaning. Have fun, Ash. Love your face. Hit wall of station. I'm gonna go to Big Valley, the entirety of it. I want to hang a dog. I want to hit the mining camp. I want to hit the, uh, or not the mining camp, the uh, the mining cave. Do you know what, where that is? Siren's cave. Yeah, I know where the mining cave's at. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna be careful for the bear, of course. Uh, I'm gonna hit Pronghorn. I'm gonna hit Strawberry afterwards. Check the tip line there, and we'll continue down to uh, Blackwater through Tall Trees. That is your instructions. Go ahead and leave me whenever you're ready. All right, I will. I will give my best shot, sir. Yep. Go ahead. All right, let's let's warm up. One, two, two, one. Heard. I'll take the view again. One, two, two, one. Quiet ballerina station. Taking back quarter. Extra ballerina in there. Oh, I'll go to the front then. I'm only half of one. I'll be next to one. <laughs> That's true. Right. One-footed, one-footed ballerina. Quarter one. One, two, two. Yeah, quarter one. Right. One right. Let's pick it up. Picking it up. Hey, Hutch. Howdy. I think there's nothing uh, that's going to be able to find. Oh, sorry. My bad. My life flashed before my eyes there, Ryder. <laughs> I would have saved you. It's okay. I was going in the uh, Okay, please do. Going in your feedback. That's Rick's going in your feedback, Ryder. <laughs> I'm not a senior, but it's going in your feedback. Do you need Ronda to talk to you again, Riggs? No, I told you to talk to you. I mean, she's more than welcome to, you know, in there to stand if she wants to. But... She always has to, you know. Uh -huh. They're always there. Ronda, was that your mistake or was that my mistake? Ryder's. Wouldn't worry about it. Welcome to the SSD. Yep. Saints Cross is Exactly. That's right. At least yep. you guys weren't on a uh, patrol with Hart earlier in Clementine. That one got fun.
Oh! Sorry, my horse. We're trying to take out Hutch. You know what? I'm just gonna come up here and join Wiley, so that way yeah, somebody doesn't take me the fuck out with a horse. Just didn't him at a horse. <laughs> Ryder's tried to take me out once. Now Clark's trying to take me out. Yeah. Oh. It's just like paint one's hair. Continue on. It's all right. All right. Eyes up for a bear. Well, this is a uh, very commonly used telegraph station for criminals because of its remoteness. Oh, that makes sense. All right. left. Oh, right. Let's uh, let's go on this ranch. Do a little train exercise. Pebbles, you're gonna be leading this. We're going to clear this ranch, both the house and barn. I want your job to be to delegate which what, what deputies are gonna go where, how we're gonna do it, how you're gonna breach. You're gonna be the one initiating the breach. All right. On you. All right. So, all right, so we're clearing the barn and the big house, right? Alright, let this man. Alright, so me, me and uh, me and Ruben on the on, on the front door of the main house. Sorry, <clears throat> I don't know everyone's name, but you know, I'll take I'll take Briggs and. Uh, Riders. Right. Right. Yeah, a rider on the back door of the main house. And then I want the the two other deputies to to ha have you know to hold each door of the of the barn. And then when the main house is clear, we the rest of us are gonna come over, form on the form on the door, and then we're gonna breach it. Riders going to the ranch. Scene. Scene. I don't recognize them. Not rangers. Don't know who they are. You have a lantern, probably it's splinters. Mm -hmm. Probably. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Were you given breach training before? I have. A couple times. Well, it's more like one time, but... Sometimes that's low. Alright. Let's see if you paid attention. Safe crossing shark department, anyone inside, please let, please let us know. In the safe crossing shark department, we're performing a wolf welfare check. Please let us know inside. Did you say welfare check? I think so. I think you need some practice on the breaching. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a little rough around the edges yet. I mean, this is interesting 
ping. We, we can't. I can't hear him though. From here. I barely hear him right here. Yeah, so if we're breaching, um. He wants us to hold this, and then when they're done, we'll go through here. I don't think he realizes how many ways they could sneak out of this building right now. Yep, we can teach him that afterwards. Yep, also I don't think there's a back door on that, uh, house. There's a back door in here, but not the house. Yep. Oh, if there was a way to get up to that other window. Wait, the one upstairs? Yeah, the upstairs window, just pop in and boo. Scare the shit out of him. Oh, I, th I, I think you can actually. I think they're already upstairs, though. Yeah. Next time. Next time, next time. <laughs> Showing up in the middle of training. Very sad. Careful. Unless you get one brave, but you go through a window. Yeah. All right. Should we pick up these two things? The barn. Yeah. Over the barn. All right. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what is barn, but can I have two deputies checking out back, make sure there's no other entrances? We, we could we could do right room bricks again. Can take the can take the back. Sure. I'm not quite sure if it's a back door or not. Right. This is Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. Anyone inside, please let us know. This is Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. They're performing a welfare check. This is the Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. Please let us know if we're inside. We're performing a welfare check. Not bad. If you have we're a weapon out, not bad. when we come inside, you're liable to get shot. Taking too long. This mm -hmm. is the Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. Please, please let us know if we're inside. Bang. This is the Saints Crossing Sheriff Department. Please let us know if we're inside. This is your final warning. That's what, like six right, minutes? We're going to be, be breaching a free, two, one, breach. I'll hold top. Duck the right way. corner. Left corner. I got left. I got left. I got top left. Top right. Looks clear to me. I'm watching the door. Go up the ladder. Oh, I'm clear up here. Wait, fuck all. Alright, looks like everything is clear. Okay, let's regroup out front. A lot of entrances in, in that entrances. barn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very big open space too. What about your performance? What do you think? Oh, uh, I don't think it was perfect, but I don't think it was terrible either. What do you think you could do them better? I probably could observe the main build, you know, like the, the main house over there a, a bit better. Because I thought there was two entrances, but it was only one. Well, and a window. Okay. <laughs> So here's my observ observations. Uh, one, you gave six warnings for both the front house and the barn. That's too many. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Now, if you, you only need to give three warnings. You know, first one, identify yourself. Second one, identify yourself. Your third one is saying, if you don't identify yourself, you find you with a gun, you're getting your ass shot. And then after that, you enter. No matter what, no matter what the situation is. You don't need to give six warnings. If there's no one replying at the third one, then there's no one inside. Uh, that someone is inside, and then they're just not fucking replying to you. A few more calls ain't gonna help that. Now, uh, in my opinion, you split up, uh, you split us up unevenly. Let's say, let's say there was uh, no one in the house, but there was some people in the barn here. You had two deputies yeah. go to the front door, right? Let's say those deputies are just holding there, and they're not doing anything. And we're over here cleaning the house, distracted. And all of a sudden, there's, uh, there's like three people in the barn that just drop out and, uh, you know, initiate a fight with them. Well, now we're all split up. They're on um, uneven terms, and they're likely to get gunned down. Just a little hypothetical. Um, an unrealistic one, but still a possibility. We have six people here. You could split three, three and three. That's what I've done, personally. 
I mean, I, I get that. I fully get that. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing I will uh, observe or criticize you on is how fast you were giving callouts and demands. Or not demands, but I guess instructions and orders. Too long. Now, in this case, this is general patrol, but for check. You can take the time all you want. But let's say we're on a hunting party, we see a horse outside, you need to be quick on your instructions on what people need to do. Otherwise, things are get really confusing. So, you know the names of your deputies around you. If you don't know them, get to know them. You need to be, you know, clear in your conscience of what you want your deputies to do. Uh, a grand example of this was uh, right in the barn. You uh, instructed to kind of have two deputies to the back. People were standing around. They were looking around, trying to see who would move first. Then you finally called out a name, and they actually went. You need to call out names instantly. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I get that. Okay. Anyone else have any any feedback for? Them? Uh, just if you are splitting up deputies as well. Um, again, everyone does agree differently. Some split, some won't. Uh, if you do split, just make sure you can also make sure they're not too far away so they can still hear. Because I couldn't hear, and Hutch could barely hear you, even if when you're shouting. So we weren't aware of anything that was going on. We weren't sure if we were meant to breach at the same time. Um, so we just could not hear you. Yep, that's uh, a very important topic there. Uh, communication you know, is something that we've. I, I think we've made very apparent that that's very important in this line of work. You know, I'm sure you understand that. I'm not going to lecture you on it, but uh, definitely make sure that you're positioning your deputies in areas that they can actually hear you and understand you. Yeah, I get that. Okay, anyone else? No, nope, nothing for me. Okay, let's go. Continue on. Good work. Exactly. Like, where's it at? My horse okay, is so right. You see where my horse is facing? Yeah. Wait, what? Literally directly in front. Like, you see the Your saddle's loose. Right oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright, I'll take the rear. Alright. I can probably get us there. Alright. Let's warm up. Watch the bear there. One, two, two, one. one. I've already run into him once today. Ruben has bad track record with the bear, let's not do that. Yep. Pull back to the left side. Pull back to the left side. Get away from the tree line. Yep, there it is. It's down. Shoot out. Fall back. Things. Well, we can go to the cave, but it looks like it might have gone up that way. 
<laughs> yeah, it doesn't like me if I'm horsey. Yep, I hear him. I didn't see him, but I hear him. Wiley, should we send uh here. should we send okay. Pebbles here to Strawberry to send an update out? Actually, or Wallace? No, actually, I, I actually don't think that's really necessary. We got six of us here. If they need help, we, we can provide it. Right now, we're okay. supposed to sit back, observe. If they uh, need help, they'll come in. That's out. what I was saying. We'll send an update of like, hey, they're in a shootout. We're holding here just so folks know where everyone's at in oh, this area. I have this uh, angle hedge and doubles you guys can run to Wallace. Then All right, come on. We're gonna pick up full sprint. All right, full sprint. I gotta adjust my saddle anyway. Rider ahead, same way. Rider ahead, same way. Howdy, sir. Passing on your left. Staying right. Staying right. Wagon, stay left. Let's rest them. Resting. Rider ahead. Rider ahead. Howdy. Swing left. Hold on left. We're gonna go stop at the office first. I'm gonna check tip line, see who's part of that group, and then we're gonna send an update that uh, that they were chasing folks in Big Valley up near Sirens Cave. Understood. Actually, you know what? no, we won't check tip line. We're gonna go straight to Telegram. So, uh, what I want you to do is just send a Telegram to Law uh, that says Clementine's group was chasing and in a shootout in Big Valley, uh, and then I want you to send in that same tip. We'll go left. Uh, that our group is holding in Big Valley in case they need us. All right. All right. The group's names yeah. is yourself. It's Wiley, Clark, Briggs, Hutch, and Ryder. I got that. All right. I'm going to adjust my saddle. You go send that telegram. Yes, sir. I'll meet you at the telegram office. Howdy, howdy, pardon. Howdy, Sadie.
Hutch, were y'all the ones uh, in pursuit of Champion Hutch? No, we ran into that group. Uh, they're in, actively in a shootout in Big Valley. Uh, my patrol with Wiley is actually standing by right outside of Pronghorn in case they needed us. Can you send in a tip, please? Because we have no Cadet Pebbles is already doing that. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Yep, that's actually why I had him split off and I had to go to the stables and adjust my saddle anyway. Okay, how many does Wiley have out there? Six. Six? Okay. I'm just making sure we got enough horses if, you know. Yeah, we got plenty of folks. Where's my cadet? Got done? We're almost. All right, hurry it up. We need to get out there. Or we're good now. Let's go. Going right. All right. I'm starting to feel stutters in the game. All right, let's pick it up and move. Uh, Stand right. Wagon ahead, going same way. Howdy, sir. Passing. Let's rest horses. <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to tips, especially stuff for shootouts, um, uh, those need to be as quick as you can possibly, uh, get those, uh, onto that piece of paper. I, I get that. So, not saying you did bad or good, but just to kind of emphasize it in the future for you. Um, yeah, I, def I definitely need to get faster. I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, the one thing I'll tell you, speed doesn't come by learning speed. Speed comes in time and as you get to know people. All right, let's pick it up. Pick it up. Right, the sir passed on your left. A wagon off the side of the road here. Going hard right off road. Hard right. So we're uh, we're staking out the cave right now. The Ten ton ganger in there. We already got six though. Uh, where's Wiley's group? They continued on, I think. Where did they go? Big Valley. Valley. Alright, that's who we were coming to meet up here. Good luck. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright, good luck.
We'll swing by uh, Hanging Dog again, and if we can't find anything there, we're going to uh, we'll go over to Wallace. All right. That'd be uh, what Wiley would do, though, uh, since they're doing a stakeout of 10 ton in the caves. Wiley would go back to Wallace and send a tip. So that's what we're going to do. And of course, if we don't find him in Wallace, we're going to uh, fall back to Strawberry and we'll check tip line there. Here's me a train. I heard a train too. All right, going left. Poke inside real quick. Ah, nothing. Christ, Wiley. All right, we're going back strawberry away. Howdy, fella. Today, sir. Let's see, we'll stay right. You're also getting to see a sneak peek of having to think on your toes for stuff like this. Let's go left. Yeah, sometimes you get separated during incidents. Sometimes you just got to make a split call on your feet. So uh, one thing I always do is I make sure I know what's going on. So I know I've got a group over to my right on the other end of Big Valley. They're watching the cave. They said that Wiley's group was coming back this way. So that tells me that there's two places they're going to go, either to Wallace Station, which makes sense, or they head back to Strawberry, which was the next po uh, point of our patrol. Now, Wiley hasn't sent me a telegram, which tells me they either haven't made it to Strawberry or he forgot to just telegram me entirely and tell me. We'll go right? Going right. But yeah, you gotta make assessments sometimes on your feet of uh, you know, what information do you have, what do you know, what are you working with, and what's the objective. In this case, we're just trying to get back with our patrol, so logical route's gonna be Strawberry. If we don't see him in Strawberry, we also know they're going to Blackwater, which is a very stone, you know, short stone's throw away. Yeah. And if worse comes to worse, well, you stuck with me a while. All right, you know that, that's fine. I think you're a very pleasant, pleasant fellow, sir. <laughs> now I'm in a better mood today than I have been in a couple weeks. So, well, you know, I'm glad to hear it. Rider. Rider. Staying right. Staying right. Chat, I may take a breather here in a minute. Just so I can get up, stretch my back, walk around. I got a puppy dog that needs to go walking too. 
so we'll see. Good news is it's Saturday, which means we're not really restricted by any time for things. Oop, oh, riders. Riders ahead. Howdy. Hello. Hey, good day. Well, I do see horses at the station. Mm hmm. It's likely our group. Yo. Good day, good day. Ta -da. Hey there. Hello. Good day, good day. Yeah, uh, we made it here and then we uh, we found the other group where you guys were, so we figured you either ah. went to Wallace or came back here. <laughs> no, yeah, we, we came back here. The other group was Jing. Uh, they chased them into the cave. They didn't want to push into the cave because that would have been too risky. Mm. They. Uh, set up in the trees near where we were originally, mm -hmm. and they were just going to wait them out. Yep, that's where we found them. So, see, I told you, Cadet, they were either going to go to Wallace or to here. Yeah, yeah that's a smart move. Here. Got a ma He got a master class in thinking on your feet of what's uh, what the fuck to do when the plan goes off the rails. <laughs> Generally, head towards telegram station, send out a telegram. Uh, we have Sheriff Hart inside and a couple of others. I'm not sure who. I'm going to go check. Hmm. I know Briggs was with others, him. We have others, but I think they might have uh, left town because we had so many people here. Wow. Well. Uh, yo, Sam! What is up, dude? How you been? I do not know where wiley has gone. All right, uh, we have four right. plus a cadet heading to Wallace. It looks like they're actually going all the way to Rhodes. Oh, are they? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, Wallace and Tyne Rhodes. Okay. Hope you're well. I'm hanging in there, man. I don't know where Wiley's going. He's just... Actually, I might know where he's going. But you know, at least all the first times, it's it's definitely the hardest. Yes, I, I'd like wrong. to say. You are not wrong. Well, it will get easier, but mm -hmm. it's always something different, though. Never a situation that's you don't really get too many of the same situations twice. Yeah, I definitely see that. I definitely think that. <laughs> like yesterday, we had a shootout in the woods. Everyone went down besides me. I'm running around. It's just pure chaos. So you know, I fully get what you mean. Yeah. And then what do you do when you're the only one? Yeah, man, I'm hanging in there. Can Hope you're well. Pretty tricky. Yeah. Oftentimes, oh. if you're the last one, best to just get out far enough so that way that other group leaves, you get your people, and then, you know, yep. you move on. Exactly. Yeah, well, thankfully, I wasn't the only one, but, you know, it's okay. what I would have done. Mm. It was me, Mr. Rockman, up. As the, the very two lost, we chased them off. I'm gonna go use the outhouse. I'll be back. Okay, sounds good. Good luck. Chat, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom.
All right, we're back. So are we just waiting on Wiley now? Yeah, where did Wiley go? He's having a chat with Parker. Mm. Weird, I'm not too sure, but... Where'd Clark go? Ah, uh, in the office. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we're just waiting on Wiley. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom right Checking telegrams. Don't get shot. Don't think too hard. I don't know. I'm... I'm not gonna jinx it. I'm, I'm, I need to go check some notes. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody jinxed it, he did. Pretty much. Why the hell are you getting off your hitch? Welcome back, Ryder. Hello. Hello. Sorry I tried to kill you on my horse. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a patrol in Saints Crossing without uh, some kind of mishap, right? You're not wrong. Oh, hang on, I'll be right back. I need to get a medical bag. Ow. That right there, That's Cadet? Right. Example of making sure you're prepared when you go on duty every day. Yeah, of course, sir. I'm fully prepared. <laughs> Always. Ryder, here was a question earlier today. How many bullets do you carry with you when you're on patrol? Um, right now, I have 130 rifle and 100 um, pistol. But normally only carry about 100 of each. Hmm. Huh. You want to see something nuts? What? Look how much I'm carrying how, in my jacket how, pocket. How much do you carry? This, that's my question. Put your hands up. I 
Oh, it, 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 hold on. That, yeah, that, that button is, it, hold on. Yeah. Oh, I can't. oh, you're stressing me out. You're stressing me out. Your pocket, your pocket is all a mess. I carried almost so 300 cool. rounds of rifle ammo, 50 uh, rounds of pistol, 20 uh, sets of gun oil, and 20 bandages. Jesus. Jesus. Plus, I mean, it is... plus, I have hay cubes for my horse and a horse brush to keep his uh, fur clean, two water canteens, a medical bag of food, and a pack of cigarettes. Well, you're ready for anything, I, I suppose. Yep. I mean, that, that's, that's also good. Well, considering most of the work I do ends up in some kind of shootout, I figure I might as well be prepared for that, right? Yeah, typically I'm about 100, and then if I need to, if we know we're going to go whatever, then I'll load up, but... Are we talking about yeah. rigs? Yeah, we are. You feel free to carry on. I was waiting on you guys. This wasn't my patrol to start. <clears throat> I know we're that we're being a wily, I think. I didn't know you smoked paper. I smoke Yes, That's I did. Like very sophisticated. I, wow. I, I said that the other day. Wow. I just didn't smoke it for like a while and then I think the back of my head. I I used to smoke a pipe when I first came to the crossing. I know it just I, people who smoke pipe just sounds or it just looks very sophisticated. You know, my gr uh, my grandfather used to smoke a pipe all the time. I like this. It smells so good. I like the smell mm. of it. Yeah, he would always uh, have a little dab of, uh, of uh, what is that? That string thing. It smells really sweet. It's an ice cream flavor, too. I can't think of the word. Rhubarb? No. String. Celery. Vanilla? Yeah, that, that's it. Vanilla. <laughs> Celery. <laughs> What the fuck? He said yes after it, though, so... Oh, it's because, yeah, it was vanilla. Um, He'd always have just, like, a couple strands of vanilla laying around and just put a little bit with his tobacco mix it up before he smoked it. Made it smell really, really sweet. That's actually really good, though. Mm-hmm. It really does. Oh, wow, a lot of people... That's a lot of horses, man. Yeah, coming up over the ridge. Hey. It looks like our lot. Yep, yeah, that's, that's Harry, ours. that's us. Yeah, okay. I don't see bodies on the back. What a good looking bunch of deputies. <laughs> I know you're not talking about me. There's Definitely so many not. People. Hello. Oh, Hello. 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 Shit, Sana, oh, I, uh, sorry, I'm I got sorry. something I want to ask real quick oh. as well. <laughs> See you, Hutch. Hey, you too. Real quick, it's a bit of a weird one. Well, we'll wait for Wiley for five more minutes, and then if it doesn't come, then we'll head back out west. Honestly, honestly, senior deputy, I think we should just go. Wiley's capable on his own. There's a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here. Okay, I'll just pick up. Yeah, let's let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. Cadet, carry on. Cadet, we're going to Blackwater. Send a tip now. Yes, please. Go. Run. 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 Really quick. Cadet. If you don't send a get tip, we're going to get back. Cadet. Poor fucking feedback. Run. Run, run down. down. We're going to run it. We're going to run it. Telegrams, we're going to Blackwater, the four of us now. Yes. All right. Uh, go. I will go and send a telegram. Run. Right. Go. Run. Okay, go. Quick, run. quick, quick. Quick. <laughs> Don't try. Right, we're going to Blackwater. So if you're going to see the office, you know? <laughs> Howdy, Clem. I think that is who I think it is. Yeah, there is a lot of people here. Uh, yeah, 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 just just a little bit. Yeah. Fuck, is that McConnell? I think that is. Look at that handsome Irishman. Because <laughs> he just walks away. There he is. I miss that man, he's great. I'm kind of fucking 
You know what? I respect his hustle out of the telegram office. Yeah, no, me too. That's that's positive feedback going in his notes later. Mm -hmm. All right, Pebbles, take us to Blackwater. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll lead us. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm oh, care about. All right, form a one, two, one. One, two, one. Right. One, two, one. All right, watch the can. Kitty. Who? Pick it up. Slightly. Pick it up. Like that. Up to a canter. All right, going right. Going right. Going right. Wait, what? Where are going? Fight so the pros. When you and Pebbles went to go send the attack, just updating the situation in Big Valley. Wiley asked you to go to Wallace, but you Oh shit. I was thinking strawberry the whole time because I needed to adjust my saddle as it was, so. Whoops. Okay, just so you're aware. Yeah. Right ahead. Right, right ahead. Right Howdy. Thank Hello. You. Can you shoot this? Well, all I can really say, oops. I mean, at well, least you don't acknowledge and have to deal. Offer. It's one of those things where everything turned out with you. Yeah. People say slow up for town, and it doesn't rhyme no. with town. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah, you gotta say down. You know, I say whichever one just comes off the tongue first. Yeah, so do I. I'm just saying, it's bigger. It's Sounds not bigger. Like, it's bigger. Right, My hitch. really picking up on that car thing, or is it just me? It's because this door is cracked open. Yeah, okay. Fucking blowing a gale through the fucking office. Blowing a gale. Mm -hmm. There, that makes it better. Perfect, okay. chat you know what I think we're gonna do
Alright, let's check this feedback for you, Pebbles. Wait, what do you say, man? Can I have a wee look at your feedback? Alright, that sounds perfect. Wait, you see that one? Yeah, fuck. Wait, they, 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 wrote, they, they wrote that? Yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty. Mm. That's pretty detrimental. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I don't know if they can oh, recover God. from that. Damn, and if true. Hey. Yeah. Cranky, okay. That's a concern. Yeah, it really is. Wait, oh, that, and look wait, at the next got one. Brought up? Worse. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, Briggs, what's that circle right there? Oh, and the, the red one or or the yeah, black one? That red one that has like 300 exclamation points? Uh huh. Wait, let's, oh, oh, oh. I think I think that was a situation the other day. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's pretty. Well, and there's this have a one. Conversation with him about that one. Yeah, I mean, there's this one here where there's a note from Sheriff Chevalier. Oh God, man! Oh God. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna yeah, pass what, out. Look what Sheriff Chevalier said at the end of that one. Huh? <whistles> That's worse than the thing before. Yeah. Wait. I don't think it, any wait, hold on. ever done wait, that before. Wait, That last one. Hmm. How God. did? He... Is that really asking that question about the the senior cadet status? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, that's a bold question to ask. Yeah. I don't. Do you know what? In all my months as a deputy, my year and a half, I don't think I've ever seen feedback quite like that. It's pretty grim. Oh god. Okay. Oh god. <clears throat> so. How do you think you're doing? Like right now? Mm hmm <laughs> well, Or in general? Well, was besides the breaching part, I think I like to think I did pretty good. Okay. How, How do you, you think, think you're doing overall in your training? Uh huh. Well, from my from my own belief, I think it's been going it's been going it's been going good so far. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if the feedback says otherwise. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're confident, that's good. <laughs> He's confident about his feedback and training so far. Okay. Despite mentioned above. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it's all fine. You're doing great. Oh, yeah, no, everything's looking good. <laughs> you know, I'm normally not mean like that. Oh, I'm good. Oh, okay. right. Surprised That's I kept a straight face. Wow. I feel like I got shot all over again. <laughs> oh God. Oh. Anybody in this Jesus office Christ. Oh. <laughs> you know, Cadet, when I wrote my feedback for you the other day, <laughs> uh, it was a short ride, but I gave you good remarks and a couple of suggestions of what other deputies should put you through. But all in all, you're doing really good. Thank you. Oh God. Oh, so, so I'm doing good. It's all. It's all a joke. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's just yeah, us no, messing you're with all you. Fine. Yeah, yeah. That's all looking. Oh it's God. Oh. The... You have to realize when us, when us three get together, we share a very similar brain cell, and we tend mm -hmm. to uh, pick on people if we like them. So. Well, I'll take this as a compliment. <laughs> uh, a... Let's be honest. I never get that brain cell. It just bounces back between you. <laughs> Every now and then I, every now and then I get like a glimpse of it. You get like a, a, you get well, it's one brain cell split between three people, so you get a third. Yeah, you get a third of it. Sometimes I don't think I get that. Stop being yeah, so greedy no, with is, it. Hutch is probably the better out of all three of us. <laughs> let's, let's, That's let's, bullshit, let's, Briggs, and you and I know that. Nah, it's I don't know about that. I don't know. Rhonda talks to everybody sometimes, so it's pretty rough. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll probably beat me up later. Who, your horse? Yeah, Rondo will beat me up later, don't worry. <laughs> she'll like kick me or fuck me off or something, I don't know. Well, yeah, Cadet, all in all, you're doing good. Um, your feedback has actually got you some pretty high remarks right now. 
Uh, I won't say oh. specifically what's said, but I will tell you, you've got a lot of good praises. Um, just a lot of encouragement to continue developing, continue understanding places. Uh, like you saw at Hanging Dog earlier. You know, you didn't know there weren't back doors. Knowing that information is life and death in some circumstances, quite literally. Uh, so, you know, the crossing is a big place. I don't expect you, and none of us here are going to expect you to know every single nook and cranny, but when you know that there's a, a similar set of buildings that you're going to go through, like Hanging Dog or Pronghorn or the Dead End Camp or the Slaughterhouse, you know, you need to know those places because that will help you, one, know what you're up against, and should you actually take an engagement there, if it does come to it, and two, with your people, should you split them, should you keep them together? And, of course, of yeah, course. And that information is very much life and death. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I found, I found the best way to learning is just the volunteer of everything, literally everything. Even if I fuck up, it's it's a good learning experience. It I can be in some regards. Um, yeah. One thing I would say, volunteer for everything may not be the best approach to pursue training and learning. And I say that because if you volunteer for anything anywhere, what's to say you're going to retain that? Um, I mean, that's true. So one thing I would encourage, and this is something I I'm did. Go check my uh, yeah. So this is something I did a year ago when I was a cadet. Uh, uh -huh. In fact, this time last year, I was a cadet in this department. I got my badge right at the start of December. But what I would say to do is big landmarks like that, Pronghorn, Hanging Dog, Wallace Station, you know, know those inside and out, because you're going to see a lot of engagements there. Um, I've taken fights at, you name it, I've had a fight there. I've been in a gunfight there. How I've gotten out alive is really beyond me, and I've got the scars to tell. But ultimately, knowing those locations and how to approach them will help you determine one do you actually need to push it if you are in a fight two if it's not a fight how can you approach it to make sure your deputies are safe and three how does everybody go home safe and healthy at the end of the day of course i appreciate that i appreciate that tip mm -hmm. i really i really do i need to learn you know all the places a bit better yep i do agree with that one yep but you yeah, know we... i think that some of this is gonna come with time right some of that does come with time, but understanding those places, like I said, it's going to be the difference in everything. Um, uh, of course. Take, for example, Fort Mercer. You ever been there? That's the fort down in the outwest, right? Mm -hmm. I've been there like I've been there once. I know there's a main entrance. I think there's a, a back entrance too on the side, and it, it's it, it's huge. But more than that, I don't really know about. It. Yeah, no, it's a big thing to know. But the reason I ask, you know, Fort Mercer. Um, there's a reason that we are very, very cautious at Fort Mercer. It's very hard to breach overall, no matter what angle you take. Uh, to date, I believe only uh, only two times as law have we actually breached that fort when fighting folks there. No matter who's been there, whether it be Kettleman Gang or Waggy's group or whoever. <clears throat> but knowing yeah. that there's a big advantage to holding up in that fort versus whoever's assaulting it, that helps determine do we take an engagement or not. Uh, also looking at the terrain around you, you know, do they have high ground? Do they have better cover than you? Do they have, uh, you know, do they have numbers over you? So a lot of that stuff is stuff to consider, not just in, you know, location, but what are you up against? So let's take Hanging Dog for example. You taking a you know you chasing a group of six. You got a group of six with you. It's pretty easy for you to say, oh, we can take this fight. But Hanging Dog is a tough ass fight. There's a lot of nooks and crannies they can come pouring out of that house on. One on the backside. Uh, there's a window up there they can get on the roof. There's another hole in the roof on on another side. They could slip around to the barn in the middle of the firefight. Uh, things like that that have to be considered. Yeah, of course, I get that. I, I will get that. So would you say that's kind of... Well, I'll give you this, this example, right? Like yesterday, we chased... I think it was the Woods Gang to Dead End Pass, right? Mm -hmm. And there were six of them and five of us. 
So, you know, for example, you know, we broke off because, you know, he it, it says it wasn't worth the fight. And then we went back to Strawberry, got one more deputy, got more ammunition, that kind of stuff, and then went back. And then we're going to siege him. Do, do you yeah. say that's, you know, important in most mo most scenarios? Because that's why one big, I think, one big thing I learned yesterday. Yep, sometimes that's what you got to do. Uh, sometimes you got to, you know, fall back from the initial engage, reassess it. And, you know, re-up your numbers, re-up your ammunition, do it, you know, do a long-term siege. Uh, other times, you may not get that chance. you got to run headlong into it or decide, is it worth going headlong into it? Um, so those are those are big things to be mindful of. And I, I say that as a deputy that's... I've ran a lot of hunting parties. I've gone after some of the worst criminals in this entire crossing. It's not tooting my own horn. Uh, I'm not as successful as it may seem with that. But ultimately... At the end of the day, you got to think about your deputy safety and knowing the terrain and knowing what you're actually up against in terms of buildings, doors, locations, nooks, crannies, you know, high end shoot spots, low end shoot spots. Knowing all of that's going to be a big thing in any decision making. Of course, I do appreciate that. Mm. Yeah, just now, you know, I do understand there's some there's some very 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 dangerous gangs out there to say. Yep. And they need uh and they need that honest respect of you know some of them are very violent some of them are very good at shooting and you got to be very careful with it because at the end of the day you know it's not just training we're talking people's lives and hands the moment you have that gun and you're aiming down the barrel there's a good chance somebody could die from it and you always got to keep that in the back of your mind we don't want them to die you know we want to we want to just get them back in and you know bring justice but we have to understand there's a high probability when we aim a gun at somebody, they're likely going to die. So we do have to just keep that in the back of our minds. But at, this, at the same time, they look down the barrel of their gun, there's a good chance we could die. I, I totally get that. I, yeah. I totally understand that. Yeah, I've lost enough friends in this department already. It's never fun losing people you, people you like and you love. No, that's not... But the one thing we can do is when we get those moments and control what we can control, make sure we're doing what we can that our friends get to come home safe. And that way we can take a little solace knowing that when they were with us, we did everything we could. Yeah, I, I mean, I fully get that. And I do appreciate your, 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 your lesson here. Yeah. And just things to be uh, very mindful for. All right, uh, we're going to hold you here for a little bit, Pebbles. I have an FA on the tip line that says to keep you in this office for the time being. All right, this is from a specific person. You'll find out when they get here. Oh, okay, sir. Speaking of which, howdy, howdy Sheriff. Good day, Sheriff. How's everyone doing here? I'm okay. That's How fine. You? Doing all right? I thought there were more people here. Uh, they went to telegrams. But Briggs and Ryder are here with us. Yeah, yeah. I see Ryder there. Where's Briggs? I believe she went to telegrams. All right, I need to speak to her, so. I went to the telegram, <laughs> and then I came to the saloon, and then I went Hi past the bank. Uh, yeah. Am I slippery? Yeah, Ryder, you're a slippery joker.
Ryder, I think you done did it this time. Why are you so good at that? Please don't shit yourself. Oh, don't worry. I'm, trust me, I haven't had milk today. I'm not going to shit myself. Oh, are you lactose intolerant? I am lactose intolerant. All right, good to know. Yeah. Hold on. That's very good to know. Jot that down in your paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Do not have milk. Howdy. How you been? Uh, uh <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> I yeah. know the feeling, but for other reasons. Thank you for taking care of me on today, this morning. You saved my life. Well, might as well, you know, do the same. Special courtesy, return the favor. <laughs> sure, something like that. <laughs> Chat, I think I know what's about to go on here. Wait a sec. How do you spell your name? R Y D E R. R Y D E R. It's my first name. My last name's James. There you are. You're not marked as a CSC in here. You know what? Let me just fix maybe, all of your paperwork. Maybe I've been fired. <laughs> maybe I've been fired and I, I I would honestly question a lot of things if that was the case. <laughs> Why is that? I probably deserve it. Let's be real. Let's yeah, be it's bullshit, and you and I both know it. All right, I'm deputy. The meanest De deputy ever. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Apparently, I guess I don't know. Okay. I don't think I have a mean bone in my body. Are you allergic to anything uh, other than other than dairy? <laughs> um, don't think so. All right. Let's see. Hey, can we get all the deputies in here, please? Oh, yes, ma'am. See y'all. And you know what? Why not the medic either? Unless you're oh, busy, yeah. Ileana. Yeah, come on, Ileana. Come on, doctor. <laughs> come on, doc. Oof. Yikes. Why not? Wow. Are we doing oh, no. what I think we're about to do? Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. We fucking with him first? Well, I said we've already had our fun using him so far, so oh, like I can put him on the spot a wee bit. Yeah, let's do yeah, some more. Like yeah. Ryder, come stand next to right. Pleasure to meet you again. Last your arms. It's a pleasure. Oh, we're all standing like this? Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, no, we yeah, I'll, get, yeah. I'll yeah, give it this. There's no over here. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay. Did I see gonna... something? Yes, you did. Oh, uh, well, boy, yeah, did you, you do something? Do you do you think you did something? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, you, you guys just, you know, they kind of mess with me, like, a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But... No, we did. We did mess with you a minute yeah. ago. Uh huh. Do you think we would have messed with you again? Oh. Stan, come over here. Stand like us. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we would. You, you sure that we would? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, like I was asking earlier, how, how do you think you've been doing in the cadet program? Overall, just a broad view of how you've been progressing. Well, I did, I did start off pretty slowly, right? Learning everything. Mm -hmm. But ever since then, I've been picking it up one day at a time. But right now, you know, I like to think I'm pretty confident. Okay. And you don't feel as though you've got any room to improve, or...? There is always room for improvement, right? Like you saw over the ranch trail there, there's definitely room for improvement there and there. But I, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty confident. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. Well, uh... The load of us have, uh... <laughs> had a lengthy discussion. And, uh, we don't think you're appropriate for the cadet program anymore. Okay, thank you. We do, however, think you're appropriate to receive your badge. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Is this not a joke again? We're nope, as serious as life and death. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. I didn't expect this at all. So... If you would like to repeat after me. Yes, ma'am. On this day and every day that I carry forward. On this day and, and every day I carry forward. I will uphold my duty. I will uphold my duty. On my honor. On my honor. With my strength. With my strength. 
And I will act with integrity. And I will act with integrity. Fairness and diligence. Fairness and diligence. Through all my convictions in all that I do. Through all my convictions and all that all that I do. I will hold not only myself. I will hold not just myself. But others accountable for their actions. But others accountable for their actions. I will become the shield for those in need. I will become the shield of those who need. I will become the voice that others may not have. I will become the voice others may not have. I am the tip of the spear in the face of injustice. I am the tip of a spear in the, in the face of justice. So on this day. So on this day. And for the rest of my days. And for the rest of my days. Here I will stand. Here I will stand. A proud deputy of the Saints Cross and Sheriff's Department. A proud deputy of Saints Crossing Sheriff's Department. Congratulations, Deputy Pebbles. Pleasure to have you on the team. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Deputy. Oh, deserve it. Point, don't worry. Oh, God. Oh, I think I'm going to pass out again. <laughs> well, perfect timing, because you might have yeah, to... Yeah, good news. There's a doctor here. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We just did some light hazing of him before you showed up, Bolton. You know, nothing perfect. too much. Perfect. It added to this. Uh-huh. If someone can go ahead and get him geared up with the standards until he, it's, until, it's a until we get his keys. Congratulations. Oh, is he in deputy purgatory? Thank you, Thank you a lot. Uh, for right now, yes. Okay. All right, uh, Pebbles, you deputy Pebbles, we are going to get you a copy of key and such. Um, it may take a little bit, but I'll uh, send a telegram to the marshals, and I'll let you know when to take your celebratory nap. All right. Thank you, ma'am. It means a lot. Of course. Once you do get those keys, just make sure you go to a more experienced deputy, and they'll uh, show you around the office and... And the paperwork. Oh, of course, of course. I'll make sure to do that. All right. Um, All until right. we get those, you are an active deputy here at the crossing, officially. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Yes, you, you know, you guys trusted me with this, with this badge. Hey, well, like I said, you've impressed us, so good work. Keep it up. Endorsed oh, by. Medic Ileana as well. Mm -hmm. Goddamn doctor! I'm a goddamn doctor! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> People called me doctor, and I said, I'm going to med school so I can become a doctor so people can just be correct. I'm and now sorry. everybody's back to calling me medic, and I don't understand. <laughs> oh, doctor endorsed. <laughs> Actually, very much so. Um, it means a lot, coming from doctor too. Yeah, I, uh, I got to quiz him the other night, so... Perfect. Mm-hmm. All Did right, well. well, get back to work, everyone. Understood. Okay. I'm going to need someone to let me out of the office because I don't have <laughs> keys here <Yeah>. anymore. <laughs> they don't give them to retired uh, folks, unfortunately. Congratulations, deputy. It means a lot. Thank you. My pleasure. You, come with me. Oh, okay. Well done. Thank you, man. I need to change my pants, too. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a tailor two doors down. Take a bath while you're at it. I don't think I need a bath. Well, if you shit your pants, you need to uh, take a bath and clean that off. Congratulations. Thank you all. Thank you all for the, for the wise lessons you guys teach me. Thank you. All the real learning begins now, deputy. That's where the real fun begins. But you get to learn that from them because I'm going to bed. All right, well, you know, I'll you see y'all later. Sleep. Night. Night. <laughs> All right, chat. Uh, i tell you what we'll do here. We're going to go. If you're with us on Twitch, we're going to go raid pandas. If you're on other platforms gonna be in the, the stream but thank you guys everybody for tuning in whether it be here on twitch whether it's on kick or youtube i appreciate y'all very very much let's go raid pandas he plays sheriff heart um i might be back in a little bit i might not i'm gonna go get up stretch go walk my dog walk around get some food uh, and all that lovely stuff and then uh we'll go from there but anyway i love all of your faces have a good night we'll see you later